excited for today's Mastering Environments. Tell us where you're from, where are you? Tell us your dog's name, tell us what breed you've got. I wanna see everything about you. We are so excited to have you. And I can see you guys on the screen. Give me some excitement. Oh my God, we're so excited, I'm so excited. I actually can't contain myself. I'm currently trying to rein it in a little bit and not be quite so energetic. But I, it's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's really hard because I'm excited about what we've got to cover for you guys today. Oh, we've got a lot for you. You thought that yesterday was a packed in thing. Well, today is even better. So much value, so much value. So much amazing dog training coming your way. I've got a little game for you. So it's called This or That. I don't know if you've ever played it before. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain it a little bit for you. So this or that, I'm gonna give you a this and I'm gonna give you a that and I wanna know which one is for you. So I'll give you an example, okay? If I said pizza versus crisps, then for me that would be pizza. Hands down, easy, pizza. Get rid of those crisps, don't want them. I want the pizza. I'm gonna wanna know which one you want. Let me know in the comments. So you're gonna pop it in the comments, pizza or crisps. This is, your, this is your starting one. This is your example. This is just to get you, get you going. Let's figure out how to play it. I'm seeing crisps. I'm seeing pizza. We've got some pizza lovers out there. I feel you. I feel you, crisps. Crisp, pizza, pizza, pizza. Okay, so that was, that was your tester. That was your tester. That was the easy one. And tell me where you guys, where, guys, where are you from? What's your dog's name? And more than, more, even more important, tell me what your struggle is because that's what we're here today for. We wanna help you guys with your recall struggle and your dog training struggles. We've got so much dog training coming your way. Quincy struggling with other dogs. Sue and Quincy. Hello from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. You guys from other countries, that is amazing. Lily the Labrador. Sue with Coco in Lancashire, hello. Hello. Ottawa, Canads. I'm gonna say that's Canada, <laughs> I'm gonna assume. Tanner and Wally. Belgium, we've got Helen and Quincy. Guys, this is amazing. So many of you here with us today. Hello from California. Hello from Florida. Been to Florida, really nice, very hot. It wasn't good for my ginger skin, not gonna lie. Okay, so you're this or that, you're next this or that. Are you going to share it or are you gonna keep it to yourself? Are you gonna share it or are you going to keep it to yourself? Because sharing's, sharing's caring, guys, sharing's caring. Are you gonna share this or are you going to keep it to yourself? And I'm going to give you, I'm going to leave you a little secret. I'm going to give you a little secret. There might be prizes if you share. There might, there might be prizes if you share, but I'm going to need to know. We're going to need to know that you've shared it. So let me know if you've shared it already and there might be a prize coming your way. There definitely are going to be prizes today. Let me know if you shared it. I'm seeing comments. I see it shared already. Shared already. And it's going actually so fast, I can't read your names. Stacy, I caught one. Shared already, amazing. Kim Ford, shared already, amazing. Keep sharing, guys, sharing is caring, sharing is caring, and I'm really glad to see that you are all sharing, because the more that we can get this dog training, this word of dog training out to the world, the better it is for everybody. Because if you think, when we go out there, if we've spread that word and we've got lots of people with their dogs, training their dogs, trying to, trying to help their dogs understand the world better, be confident in the world, be able to recall back to you, then your walks as well as their walks are just gonna be better. So sharing's caring, I'm gonna go with sharing on that one. I've got another one for you. Excited versus scared. Excited versus scared. Excited versus scared, what would you prefer? Excited versus scared. I'm actually weirdly, sometimes I quite like being scared. It's bizarre, isn't it? I like horror films, I like roller coasters, I like putting myself in situations where I feel a little bit nervous. Excited versus scared. For me, being scared sometimes is exciting. So I guess I like excited. <laughs> There's my logic. Excited. Excited it is. I'm seeing it lots of excited. I'm really excited. B, you're excited. Nita, you're excited. Guys, are you excited? You Zoom lot, I see you. <laughs> there you are. Michelle, I see you. Helen and Quincy, I see you. Jane Gore, I've got you. Emma, I see you. Hello, Emma. Lovely Emma. Kathleen, I see you. Who's excited, guys? Who's excited? Who's excited? Oh, I love it. Amazing energy. All right, I've got another one for you. I've got another one. Is it your first time dog owning journey or have you had multiple dogs in your lifetime? For me here, right, if you've got multiple dogs and suddenly like this dog, you've done everything that you possibly can, but this dog 
is just not working. You know, everything that you're trying is just not working. The recall is not working. They're barking at other dogs. They're lunging. They're running over to other dogs. They're not really hauling back to you. Even though you've had lots of dogs in the past, that's okay. That's all right. That happens. Sometimes that individual dog is just wired a little bit differently. That's all right. The cool thing is we've got you. We've got the training struggles for you. We've got the solutions for you. And if you're a first-time dog owner, then you're learning. And what a fantastic place to be to learn new techniques, to learn new ways to understand your dog more and to help them in the environment. Today is mastering environment and we're going to help you learn all about it. I'm seeing third dog, but only dog, okay? I've lost count of how many I've had during my life. Wow, you've a lot, Zoe, then. A lot. Vivini, Vivni, I apologise, multiple. Karen, multiple previously, but these two are like something you've never encountered before. Yes, absolutely. And we hear that a lot from our students. We hear that a lot. And what I want you to know there is it doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. You know, it just means that that particular dog is struggling with life a little bit more. And you can think of that like humans, right? Sometimes some humans struggle in life a little bit more than others. And so it's just about trying to help them come up with coping strategies and think about the world in a different way, particularly the environment in a different way. And that's how we're going to get them to understand that coming back to us is much better than whatever it is they want to do out there. Whether that's chasing the squirrel, whether that's chasing the dog, the person on the bike, whether that's chasing the uh, postman down the, down the garden, you know, we've got you. Recall struggles, that is what you are here for. So last one, I've got one more for you, one more. Talking versus training. Do you want to hear more? talking from me or would you like training because i love being here i can i can talk all day i can carry on talking to you about all of the i need to hear i need to hear what you want i am happy to talk to you all day all of the two hours which i haven't got to watch on again sorry sam training i i appreciate the apology <laughs> i won't take it personally if you guys do choose training i won't take it personally i promise I, I'm, I'm much tougher skins mandy Training as much as I love you. Oh, thank you, Mandy. That is lovely. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of training. I'm seeing a lot of training. But first, before we go to the training, I want to say it one more time. Sharing is caring, guys. Make sure that you share this and you might be in for a prize. And let me tell you, some of these prizes are immense. And I'm talking, you know, you might get a holiday. So you actually might get a dog training holiday. That is one of the prizes we're giving out. Or you might get some of the really amazing AOK9 supplements. But I need to know that you've shared. I need to know that you've shared it. So make sure you let us know that you've shared that. And then we can make sure that you're in for the prize pot. We can put you in the pool and you might get picked. Let me know you're sharing. Let me know you're sharing. Let me know you're sharing. And now, let's head on down to see Lauren in the training barn. Let's go. Now I've heard that we are talking distractions. We're talking distractions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If it's your first time here, I am so happy to see you. And if it's your 50th time here, I am so happy to see you again. Now the cool thing is we are talking distractions. And guys, in the comments, tell us some of your recall distractions. Tell us some of the problems that you receive with recall. Tell us some of the issues, whether it might be your dog chases chickens, not yet chickens, whether it might be the dog chases cows, not yet cows, whether your dog maybe looks out for, I don't know, dinosaurs in the distance. It really could be anything that your dog is distracted by. Now, my dog, Easy, she's distracted by bicycles. She's distracted by joggers. She's distracted by pretty much anything. Now, I want to know in the comments, and I know you guys are thinking prizes, and I know you guys are thinking share. That's really important. But I also want you to think about, do you want to see Easy dogs tonight to train? Like, do you want to see us train easy dogs? Or would you like to see us train dogs with struggles and problems? Because you might think that easy is a really easy dog. But I'm going to show you some problems potentially. But I want to know in the comments. Hello in the comments, guys. It's lovely to see you. I'd like to know in the comments, would you like to see an easy dog or a difficult dog? So would you like to see an easy dog or would you like to see a difficult dog? And would you like to see problems or would you just like to see well-behaved dogs? So tell me in the comments because I want to see. I really do want to see. I think, do you just want to see the finished product or do you want to see all of the stages? Do you want to see some of the games that we play or would you just like to see it finished? So tell me in the comments, guys. They want to see hard dogs. They want to see problems. They want to see difficult stuff. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to pop my phone down. It's got my comments from you. So I'm looking at my comments all the time. I want to show you one of the problems that I have with Easy. Because of one of my problems with Easy is when I go to leave and I go to get home, she doesn't want to come. And I can say, come, 
come here, come here. And she goes, actually, I'd rather not. And so then you go to catch her and she runs around and she runs away and you might go to get her and she'll have that toy, thanks. Uh, you might go to get her, but she doesn't actually want to be caught. And if you go to leave the building again, when you go to leave and she thinks she's got to go home and you're going to be putting a lead on her, she will just rather not hang around with you. She'll dance with you and she'll do lots of other things, but she's not usually wanting to come back. Can you see the problem there, guys? And hopefully if you've ever had a dog like this, we're going to talk about just how we solve that problem. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. We're also going to think distractions, chicken. And when we think distractions, chicken, the fact that these could be a problem in your environment, because there are often problems just like this funky chicken who is scratching her feet. She's rather cocky, actually. And you know what? There are distractions in the environment from the funky chicken to maybe even the odd cow right? The odd cow might also be in your environment. And I think it's important that we can work around some of these distractions because these are out and about there. And you guys with your recall, you don't just have to battle a day-to-day -day, can your dog come back, but there also might be some unusual things out there like dinosaurs. There might also be some dinosaurs. And now and again, look at the strut on this. <laughs> now and again, you're going to see the odd funky dinosaur in your recall. And I think it's important that we can tackle all of these distractions. So tonight we're going to be talking mastering the recall, mastering the distractions. At least we don't see any gorillas. There are no gorillas. So at least we don't... Dear Lord, there is a gorilla. There is a gorilla in the house. Oh my goodness. There is a gorilla in the house. Show some love for the distractions because that's what we're going to be talking about. That's what we're going to be mastering and that's what we're going to be working with. Thank you, distractions. Uh, I might actually just have you in here just to show, just quickly, come in, come in, all of you. Come in, all of you. Just how we can actually work with the chicken still funking around, like she's funking. Let's have a square. Let's have a square. We're going to have a square of distractions. I'm going to drop my long line for a minute. And actually, we can, we can work with an odd distraction. The chicken is still doing her funky walk. She's still working on it. I'm going to put my long line here. But check, 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 check. You go. Ready? Two, one. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. She's even going over the dinosaur's tail. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Get it? Right, you guys can dance off. You've been amazing. Thank you very much. You are awesome. I don't, I've got to speak to my gorilla. <laughs> nice job, guys. Okay, so what we want to think about is we want to think about as they strut off, what we want to think about is actually for our dogs, they're faced with problems that they would probably never have seen a million, like in a million years before the society we live in today. And the society we live in today for our dogs can make it really difficult for our dogs to want to come back, right? It's difficult, it's difficult. And for her in particular, I've seen so many scenarios where I ask her to come home and she just says that. And I say, do you wanna come back? And she says, no, I'd rather not. And I leave and she says, I'd rather stay there. And I go home and I try and encourage her and she says, I don't wanna come home. Have you ever experienced that? Have you ever experienced that? Because I'm gonna show you right now one of my favorite tips to stop that happening. So with Easy, right from early on, I realized she didn't like us being in her space. And if you watch, when you go into her, she doesn't really like you being in her space. So I taught her a couple of things. One thing, we started teaching you this, is one of the things that you get when you first register for this cool training session. And it is, it's called, a, it's called I'm spinning around or pivoting. And what I taught her was when I pop my hand down, you come and I grab your collar. And you can see that she really does want her collar to be grabbed. To the point that if I push her away, she'll put her collar back in my hand. And that for me is really cool. So you can see, that. If you like that game, tell us in the comments below that you like that game. Tell us you want more games like that because that one for me has been such a lifesaver. I didn't throw it for a dog like Easy. It's been a massive lifesaver. The second one, and this one's important too, because like I said, when I go home, she doesn't always want to come home. So when I walk home, she often just does this and then doesn't want to come back. So she kind of dances around you. If you've got a dancer, tell us in the comments you've got a dancer. And so what I did with Easy was I'm going to scatter feed on the floor. I'm going to clip a line on, but I'm not going to pick that line up. And this is really important. I'm not picking the line up. What I'm doing is when I want to call her back at the end of the walk, I'm going to pop some food on the floor. I'm going to pick the line up then, but I'm not going to call her. So I'm not pairing my recall with 
a bad thing. Now, in the comments, I want you to think about this. Have you ever poisoned your recall queue? Have you ever used your name in vain? Have, says Steady, come here. Have you ever used your name in vain? Have you ever used your recall queue badly? Have you ever said, Poppy, get off? Or, um, Easy, don't do that. Or, um, Joe, that's bad. Have you ever done that? So have you ever used your recall queue in vain? Because if you've ever used your recall queue in vain, I think it's really important that we acknowledge we need to stop doing that. So let me know in the comments if you've ever used your recall queue in vain, if you've ever poisoned your recall queue. And guys, if you haven't already, please, please, please share this video. There are people all over the world who would love to see this training. Please share the learning. So easy was difficult. I would go to leave to go home. She didn't want to come. She wouldn't come with me. So at the point she wouldn't come with me, rather than go in and get in conflict with her, so the line's on your leg. Yes, it's on your leg. So rather than get into conflict with her, what I did was I would go, the line's on the floor. So I'd leave the line on the floor. I would pop some food out. And if your dog doesn't like food, don't worry. We have got you covered. I can't read that. Um, so if the, um, if the line, um, do, 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 do. If, if I can't basically grab hold of the line quickly, what I will do, I'll scatter the food around. So I'll scatter the food all around here. And then what I'll do is I'll pick the line up at the end. So I'll pick the line up at the end. And what I'll do is I'll gently reel that one in. And then when I want to go home, rather than sort of get in a conflict with her, I'll just take the line and I'll walk. So I'm going home. What I'm not doing is I'm not saying, easy come, easy come, easy come, easy come. And I think it's really important, got it? I think it's really, really important that we're not using her name in vain. We're not poisoning our recall. We're not saying that name unless we really need to use it in a good way. So try and top up your recall, top it up in a good way. Play games like the name game. We showed you the name game yesterday. Play games like the name game and enjoy that recall. Don't poison it. Okay, now if you haven't already, you get a show up bonus just for being here. You get a show up bonus just for being here. It's a super cool free resource. It's a free resource on distractions and mastering distractions. All you need to do is put master in the comments if you're on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, I want you to put master in the comments. I'm going to throw that food away so I can read what you guys are telling me. So you're going to put master in the comments if you're on Facebook. If you're anywhere else, you're in YouTube and they're going to post in the comments what you need to do. So if you're anywhere else and you're on YouTube, you're just going to get it posted in the comments what you need to do. So they're going to show you because we're hosting in multi different places today, which is great fun, I can tell you. Uh, so that's game one, guys. And it's one of the games I want you to think about. It's grabbing the collar and making sure your dog wants to have their collar grabbed. We taught you this yesterday in I'm Spinning Around. Second game is not using your name in vain. If you want them to come back at the end of a walk, you can scatter some food. We can talk to you about dogs that don't like food. We've got lots of ideas to build food drive in dogs. Dogs. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to pop the food down, you're going to pick your line up and you're not going to get in conflict. You're definitely not going to call your dog back when you're ending it or when you're making it maybe a negative experience for them, putting them in the car maybe if they don't like the car, that type of scenario. Does that make sense, guys? If it makes sense, let us know. And remember in the comments, guys, we want to see in the comments, I can't see my comments, but if we, we really want to see in the comments that you absolutely are sharing this all over and you're gonna put master in the comments so that you can get our show up bonus. It's show up bonus for you. Right, I wanted to tell you a little bit about also, where I started in dog training, so actually where it started for me. Now, I've had a couple of bad experiences with recalls. One, my first lurcher, Lucy, she used to run off and hunt. Have you had a dog that hunts, guys? Because we're going to talk about them too. And my second experience of a recall and a pretty stressful uh, recall was actually with a spaniel who really wanted to go out and find deer. So another hunting experience, really serious little hunters. So dogs who seriously want to go out there and want to hunt. So dogs who are seriously out there looking to hunt. And I really still can't find my comments and I don't know why. Um, and so for me, those two experiences were not fun. They were not easy experiences and they're important. Yes, you could grab and help my comments. That'll be fantastic. Now, when you're working with dogs that hunt, I think that's something to consider for sure. The other thing I had as an experience, which was not so fun, got it. You guys are commenting. This is good. You guys are mastering. So we've got lots of masters in the comment and the master. I really love seeing that you're putting mastering because you're going to get the free resources so you're getting free resources if you put master in the comments okay another experience I had and this is really cool to know Monty the dog that we worked with a lot on recall his biggest problem and his biggest problem really was he didn't want to hang out close 
Do you see what Easy's doing? She's hanging out close. His biggest problem was he didn't want to hang, hang out close. If your dog has this problem, let us know. He would run off and find dogs. He would run off and find people. He would run off and find distractions. So, so another game for you, another quick game. And this one mega helped Easy. So mega helped Easy was middle. And with middle, and we played this game yesterday, with middle, middle is a mega game in terms of being able to get your dog to be in close proximity to you. And with easy, we're also moving in middle. So we're adding middle on the move to those levels. So we're adding middle on the move into those. Now, how does that help with a dog who maybe wants to be away? Can anyone tell me in the comments, how does this help with a dog who wants to be out in the distance? Has anyone got any ideas? There could be prizes involved. There could be prizes involved. Has anyone got any ideas? Absolutely. It's all about your dog wanting to hang out with you. So this is all about you're part of that environment. So you become part of the environment. So that's another game that we definitely want you to play with. We definitely want you to grow and we definitely want you to add in because I know it can be a lot of fun. Now, last game I want to show you, and this one's probably one of Easy's most important games. We're going to throw a handful of food over there. And we're going to pop the line over here. So last game that's been mega important to Easy has been her instant stop. So it's an instant stop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recall her because lots of you loved seeing her instant stop yesterday. I'm going to recall her and I'm going to let her get a toy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Super. And then I'm going to bring her back over this way. Good. And down. She said, I know, it's fun, isn't it? You ready? So she's over there. I'm going to let her get a toy again. So I'm really going to boost up the running for the toy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Super. She's going to come back this way. Very nice. Come here. Thanking you. Ready? Down. Nice. We're going to do one more of those. And this time we're going to ask her to lie down. And I'm going to ask her to lie down roughly where the long line is. So roughly in line with this table and roughly where the long line is. Three, two, one. Go down. Get it. I asked a bit soon. She said it was a bit easy. Uh, I asked really soon on that one. Now, important and that you can see how fast that down is so important for me number one my dog wants to hang out close number two my dog wants to come back and enjoys the recall cue number three easy she says i'll have another one of those she's going to collect all the toys right now ease come uh, thank you uh, she's grabbing another a different color um, and so number two for me is really important and number three i really want to know that if all else fails there's a safety net and i can still get her back does that make sense guys now, tonight we're going to play some challenges. Who's up for a challenge? Let me know in the comments below. I don't know if someone's got a timer there for me. I want a 30 second timer. So I want a 30 second timer. I think Tia's ready. I want a 30 second timer. And my first challenge to you, and I want you to see what you can do, and I'm going to see what I can do. And if you're up for the challenge, tell me in the comments. And I want a countdown again. So I definitely want to count down and into it. Tia, you were good at this earlier. So I'm going to have some food in each hand and I'm going to see how many, see, see if you guys can guess for me. So see if you guys can guess for me, how many am I going to get in 30 seconds? So how many are we going to get in 30 seconds? Let's have a countdown. come out my fingers quick enough ah, got that one well done i dropped it go good girl how many did we get Woo! that was amazing we're kind of guessing here this is great uh, and so what i would say is how many to, can your dog catch how many can your dog get hold of for me why is this recall what is this even about why is this anything to do with a recall it's focus it's attention it's your dog wanting to interact with you ease and she's the sort of dog you can see that she'll be finding things all over the place it's really important that we make sure we master the recall notice right now i've popped my hand in her collar I'm going to drop a couple of pieces of food down. I'm going to pop that line back on. I'm not going to give her the chance to go off and find another toy because that is the sort of dog she is. Whether it's another toy, whether it's a cow, whether it's a chicken, whether it's a dinosaur or a gorilla, it doesn't really matter. Those are the distractions that we're talking about. And it's really important we master this recall together. So let's recap. We've had quite a few lessons here. 
one easy when i go to leave the arena she likes to lie down she doesn't want to come with me number one use your line your line is really powerful it means you don't get in conflict two don't use your name in vain if you don't deliver something nice then don't actually use the name if you can help it because when you're going to use their name in vain you're going to potentially damage your recall Three, if your dog isn't hanging out close, think about proximity games. Proximity games and games that are close. Games like the game that I just showed you with the collar and being able to ask her to come in to have her collar grabbed and so that she sees a good deal in having that, she says, I'm finding the food you dropped, in having that collar grabbed and held. So think about proximity. And if you haven't got proximity and you haven't got those recall cues, there's so much we can do together to get to that space. If all else fails, have a safety net. That instant down is powerful. Now, Easy is not the most straightforward dog to train. Why? Because she's smart, she's quick, and she finds distractions in the environment really difficult. We're also going to be training lots of other dogs tonight. Who would you like to see? Would you like to see our Husky? Would you like to see our Jack Russell Terrier? Maybe you'd like to see a Dalmatian. How about seeing a little Spaniel? Would you maybe like to see a Labradoodle? Who do you fancy seeing tonight? Because we've got all of them and more to see. Now, we're going to head back up to the studio. We've got an opportunity to meet one of our owners and I think you're going to love her. Let's head back to the studio. That was amazing. <gasps> that was so cool. That was, so cool. That was really, love really that. cool. That was Easy so rocks. cool. Easy rocks. She's a mental dog, but I oh love gosh, her so she's much. Brilliant. She's so, so yeah. cool. What a high driven dog. And you can really see Lauren handling her in such an amazing way mm -hmm. in terms of, you can see that, that that would be a hard dog. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah. That's I mean? not a dog that would just naturally be that no, way. No. She has reached that just through yeah, Lauren's she brilliance. She is amazing. So I mm. hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really, really cool to see. And I just want to remind you guys your show up bonus today. So if you are anywhere except for Facebook, then it is a link. So in the comments, there is already links in there for you to, to touch on. Um, but essentially, it's absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master. So if you're in Zoom, if you're on YouTube, if you're anywhere like that, then it's a link. If you're on Facebook, it's the comment. So if it's Facebook, it's the comment master. If you're anywhere else, then it's a link, absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master. Now, I am here with lovely love day. Yes, I'm here. I'm back. And yes. you're, you're bringing, you're bringing uh, which dog are you bringing today? For? I'm bringing Merlin, you're bringing a Merlin. different dog today. Like yeah. a wizard. Yeah, like a wizard. You're a wizard, yeah. Harry. Oh my you're goodness, a wizard. Lauren. We're up, we're up. That was cool. That I have cool. to say, I had the funniest moment, and I think I should tell everyone. Yeah. I went to leave the arena, and Easy was like, <laughs> nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> and so I was like, thank goodness for this line, because you're coming with me. Yeah. And the thing is, she doesn't want to leave the arena. Mm. She likes the arena. What, tell us why in the comments, guys, is she likely to not want to leave the arena? Why does she not want to leave the arena? She absolutely did not want to leave. So mm -hmm. I went to leave and she went, uh, uh, hello to everyone in the Zoom. <laughs> hello to everyone in YouTube. Hello to everyone in Facebook. Oh my goodness, yeah. it feels insane. Please make sure you're sharing, guys. Remember, there's a prize. In fact, there's a few prizes. We've got holidays to give away. Crazy prizes. We've got vouchers mm -hmm. to give away. We've got mm -hmm. supplements to give away. Super cool dog supplements. Uh, there's actually, in fact, there's a there's a really cool um, supplement code, uh, AOK9. In fact, I think we should give away one of our prizes. Who's out for a prize? Yes, 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 prizes, prize? prizes, prizes, prizes. It's Love all it. about who's sharing, though. Have it's you all shared? All about who's sharing. So have you shared? shared? You mm -hmm. have to tell us in the comments mm -hmm. you've shared. You have to tell us in the comments you've shared. If we don't see share, then we are never going to know. There's a lot of shares there. Okay, I'm see seeing lots of shares up. there. I'm seeing a lot of shares there. Is no, this the Zoom? Is this the Zoom? I need to see that you shared. I need to see that you shared. You need to tell us that you've shared. Shared multiple times. So many. <laughs> shared multiple so times. Many. Okay, <laughs> I saw a lovely name a minute ago. I've got one name that I spotted. I just spotted a name and I've saw it, seen it. Guys, we need to know you shared. You need to share on any form of social media or you can share on YouTube in terms of friends, family, mm -hmm. sisters, brothers, long lost lovers. Mm -hmm. These guys are telling us they've shared. I have to say, Facebook's very slow against the Zoom. It the is. Zoom is very fast. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, Sue's asked very quickly, how does she get the bonus resource? The bonus is for today, so, and she's on Facebook. She's on Facebook. She's on Facebook, you need to put master in the comments. So if you're on Facebook, you put master into the comments. If you're not on Facebook and you're on Zoom or you're on YouTube, then it's absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master. Okay, I've seen the wonderful Natalie Beecher shared. So the wonderful mm -hmm. Natalie Beecher shared. I am absolutely 
you're going to get a prize. You spot Woo! prize. Yes. Just, seen it, just seen on social media. You get to pick one person in a minute on there because okay. in a minute you can get watching. Okay, well, there you are. That Adeline Feltham. She's, she's just shared it. again. She's, she's just it. shared again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's two <laughs> prizes. There's two prizes. All you need to do is you email, uh, you, you contact us in our, in our help form through Absolute, and we are going to let you know what your prizes are. But we have got from holidays to supplements mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. literally there's over £3,000 worth of prizes. It's mega. So you guys have both won prizes. So lovely Natalie and lovely Adeline. And you have to share. And you can share throughout this. And you can continue sharing. And we are going to continue giving prizes because we're all about abundance. Now, mm -hmm. tell us about mm. the problems mm. you've okay. had. Like, what Merlin. was life like Merlin. before Merlin. Absolute Dogs? Um, oh, what? Before Absolute Dogs? Oh, my gosh. Chaos. <laughs> Multi-dogs, multi-huskies. Um, zero recall, lots of escaping, um, lots of chasing, uh, lots of not listening to me, running off into the distance, literally waiting for them when they'd got bored or tired, which doesn't uh, takes quite a long time with a husky to just come back to me because I, 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 I didn't really exist in their world. Um, yeah, and, and also not wanting to take food either and not training for food I've either. got a very yeah. quick picture. I don't know where I need to take our very quick picture, but I took a little picture <laughs> earlier of the crew. Look at the crew. Yeah, yeah look at the crew. Ah, look at the crew. I'm coming back. to the They're camera and I'm beautiful. hoping that everybody it's can a bit see it. Go oh, back oh, a little bit. Oh, go back a little. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're there, we're there, we're there. Yeah, we're there, we're there. <laughs> there they are. Guys, show them some love. And There's so the they are amazing. Yeah. Uh, yes. They are literally hound of the Baskervilles. They can mm. make so much noise. Oh my God. They are absolute terrors. Remember the first time I saw Love Day, I was like, dear Lord, <laughs> yeah, what just hit us? Coming. What just coming. hit us? Now, uh, in terms of what you're doing, are they the easiest dogs to reinforce? No. Are they um, easily sort of motivated by just you? No. Uh, are they completely dependent on you? No, not remotely. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Are they likely to pull on lead? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, in fact, Merlin dislocated his previous owner's shoulder Ooh. pulling so badly, doubtless towards something that was moving, yeah. knowing him. That's how bad it was. And that was the final straw for him being rehomed. So he was rehomed, so he's a rehomed dog. Mm -hmm. What age was he rehomed? He was uh, 14 months and he and I was his fourth owner. So an adolescent oh, so dog, yeah. 14 months. And good on you. Yeah, good thank work. you. <laughs> and look what we've achieved. Look what yeah. absolute dogs and, and, and I didn't me even know that, like, so this yeah. is amazing. This yeah. is amazing. Now, you're going to go down and get them ready. I am. And well, you're going to get him ready. We won't bring all four into Yeah, yeah, no. I got excited. <laughs> one at a time. And just for everybody, Love Day, what game are you going to be playing? I'm going to be playing Food Finder and Paint the Town Red. Okay, so explain with Food Finder mm -hmm. what you're going to do. And guys, tell us if you want more games or more I theory. Want Who wants more <laughs> games? and more practical dog training and who wants more theory because we've got lots of dogs to train tonight and I want to know what you want. So do you want more games or do you want more talking and theory? Tell us in the comments, like what do you want? What do you want? I'm thinking. And we're okay with games, we're, we really are. You don't have to feel sorry for saying you want games. So tell okay. us tell us what you're sure. going to do. So first of all, Food Finder, very simple. Um, basically, is I hold a piece of food in my hand, open palm um, with my thumb and I just want Merlin to come in and touch my hand with his nose. So basically, I want him to focus on my hand and get the food. Um, which has been huge for him to get that far. And I, and I will move my hand around to get him to really focus in on my hand and coming close to me. Cool. Right. And then the next stage of that is paint the town red. When um, And for the huskies, I need to move because I need to be more exciting than the environment. Otherwise, if something else is moving in the, in the environment, they will go for that instead. So then I am literally doing this, but with a bit of this <laughs> and a bit of this. Now tell me this. how on earth does this even relate to having a recall? Because I think mm -hmm. this is really yeah. important because mm -hmm. I see how this relates, but I want you yeah. to see how this relates too. So how does this yeah. relate to having a recall? So I want him to focus on me. I want him to want to be around me. I want him to see the value in coming close to me rather than anything that's out there. So and and that there is value in taking the food and that there's fun in taking the food and and that yeah I, I am actually the centre of his world be, through playing games like this. And you really have made a difference here, right? Oh like gosh, you're not just yeah. saying this. You yeah. No. I mean, it's been a journey going from a dog. I mean, he would not take food. No, I've seen him turn down roast chicken when we first got here. He was not interested. It was all about what's over there, what's going on over there, look the sheep two fields over. Um, so it, is, it has been a journey, um, and but he has come on so far. I can't, you, you, know, you just won't recognise him from the dog I described now uh, to how he was. It's just unbelievable. And you're going to go and grab him. I am. You're going to bring him in on a harness and a long line? Yes. Yeah, so harness yes. and a long line. I think I'm going to let you go get him ready. Okay. I'll meet you down there in two minutes. Okay. Head down. <laughs> we're coming down. So guys, if you have any questions, that was an amazing, literally, real life story from Love Day. Mm -hmm. We're going to work with our husky, Merlin. Merlin is not the easiest dog to reinforce. He's definitely been through a journey. He definitely had no interest in Love Day. Now, I think this is really important to ask. Can you train an old dog new tricks? 
Can you train an old dog new tricks? I feel like sometimes I'm an old dog and I quite like learning new tricks. Woo! So, you She's know. She's an old dog. Right, so I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say absolutely. Let us know in the comments, guys. Let us know in the <laughs> comments. And guys, if you're in the Zoom, I love that you're so active. If you're on the Facebook, on the Facebook. On the if Facebook. you're on Facebook, <laughs> be more active. Because I can say it's a bit slow on Facebook, where it's very, very mm. fast in Zoom. Very fast. So I want more interactive if you're on Facebook. OK, uh, the other thing I want to ask you, just, let's do a couple of this or that. Let's do a couple of this or that. So let's do, is your dog into cheese or homemade treats? Ooh. Cheese or homemade treats? Ooh. Cheese or homemade treats? Cheese or homemade treats? Is your dog into <laughs> dried food or moist food? Dried food or moist food? Dry, dried or moist? Dried or moist? Which one are they going for? Have you got this or that for us? You got this or that I for us? I think, let's go with, do you like to be really chilled out or do you like energy? Because I know what I, shout, I like. This is good. I this don't know good which to know. one you like. This, no, no, I don't idea. know either. No, no idea. idea. I think okay. I know which one these guys like. Is your dog <laughs> going to prefer to be rewarded by? Mm. And in the comments, guys, we'd like to know this. In the com comments, we really want to know this. I have to say the Zoom is way more active than the Facebook. Mm -hmm. The Facebook needs to move on. Um, I mean, is your dog? Is your dog more interactive for food or toys? Are they more interactive for food or toys? Let us know in the comments, guys. Food or toys? Food or toys, food or toys, food or toys, food or toys. I now, yeah. I think you should do a couple more this or that's with everybody. Sure. And I think you should also recap how they get the notes because the notes are actually really cool. I'm going yeah. to give you them, Sam. Yeah, I do. So you talk. I'm going to go down. I'm going to get ready for Love Day. I'll see you down there. I've got another this or that for you. You or the environment? Is it you or the environment right now? You or the environment? So does your dog want you or do they want the environment? And it's okay if it's the environment because that's what you're here for. You're going to learn loads and loads so right here I've got the bonus that you're gonna get today so that's master the environment that's your show up bonus so I'm gonna remind you how to get that if you are in Facebook you're going to put master in the comments that's only if you are in Facebook now if you are in zoom if you're on YouTube or if you're anywhere else then it's absolute dogs dot me forward slash recall master and that's how you can get your show up bonus today which is just awesome it's just really cool. Make sure you get it because it's free. It's free for you today because you're awesome and you are here. I've got another this or that for you. How about long line versus puppy line? And if you want to know the difference between those, <coughs> so long line, it's a little bit, it's longer. It's, uh, it's probably quite thicker. It's a little bit heavier and you sort of get further distance on it. Puppy line, much lighter. And actually, I've got one on my hand. <laughs> So this is a puppy line. So you can see it's still quite long, but it's very light. So is it puppy line or long line? Which one are you on? And there are benefits of both, and you're going to learn that. Benefits to both in different ways. They can both be useful in different ways. And if you know what the answer is to that, which one you would use for which, tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. And don't forget, guys, to share. Because honestly, the prizes that we are giving out are insane, seriously insane. I got told that there were holidays today and I was like, what? What holidays? Dog training holidays, imagine that. So imagine not knowing what a recall is and you'd be able to come on a holiday with your dog and learn all of this with a trainer instructing you. How amazing would that be? How about supplements for your dog? Supplements and welfare for your dogs. So, so, so much value there if you share. Let me know if you've shared. Make sure we know that you've shared and we're gonna keep picking out people for prizes. Let me know, let me know you shared. There we go, there they are. I can see you. So you shared, amazing. Tracy, you've shared. I saw Pooch shoot you. Guys, you're amazing. You're going so fast, I actually cannot read the comments. You're going so fast, I cannot read the comments. So, so fast, so, so fast. You're amazing, guys. I love the fact that you're sharing. And now we're ready. If you're ready, I'd like to know if you're ready for training. Would you rather training or me talking some more? I can talk more about long lines. And puppy lines, would you like that? Maybe that's helpful? I don't know. Training or talking, I'm not sure. I don't know which one you want. Train, I think maybe you want me to talk more about puppy lines, possibly. Training, puppy lines, no. Okay, I think, you, I think you might want training. I think you want training. We want training for you too. So I'm gonna send you downstairs to Lauren and she's gonna be with Love Day. Some cool stuff coming your way. Check it out. 
we are here with a wonderful Merlin. Merlin's <laughs> been <laughs> thinking about scooting his bum along the floor. He's been thinking about rolling, and yes. you're like, don't show no, your bum to on, everyone. Come on, face the right okay, way. Okay, <laughs> let's get some food out. Let's get some food out. Let's go straight into, I think, some food finder. I'm yeah. going to get you to either drop the line or give me the yeah, line. No, I love this colour on you. You're looking gorgeous. <laughs> okay, let's right. have a look. So some food finder. Yes. yes. Nice. Good and then moving him over. Don't let him, don't let him have too much of a gap. So be ready to go from hand to hand. This is okay. looking great, but you can see how quickly he can flip. Yeah. yeah? And he's he's being quite kind to you. So he's being quite yes, kind. Good, good boy. boy. And then this one. Yeah, nice. Good boy. Really nice. And then this one. Nice. Yeah, so one hand goes good still boy. and calm. And then to the other. Lovely. Really lovely. Let him get that one. Nice. nice. Okay, that's looking gorgeous and so much yeah. better than we had it. Yeah. What I'd love to see now is some paint the town red. So let's yes. get paint the town red. And like you yeah. said, you've got to add movement I with do. paint the town red. Yeah. Guys, if you Good love boy. Merlin, tell us in the comments Good because boy. Merlin is beautiful. Yeah. Remember, he's got a big body, so yeah. you've got to take him low and sort of a bit slower, but still move. That's lovely. And then Good right boy. round as he goes. So move all of his limb around on paint the town red. Good and boy. this really is a husky who's paying attention to his mum. You yeah. don't see this very often. This is no. pretty <laughs> darn special. And that's not because because he is literally uh, always been like this. No. I've seen where he really wants to leg it in the other direction yeah. at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Good boy. So Good boy. really nice. So paint the town again Good. and then show him the piece of food on the floor next to you there. So take him back around to that piece of food over there. So oh, we're back that way. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Take that one. Good really boy. nice. Okay, now let's do some catches. I don't Good know if we're boy. ready for a catch challenge. If someone do a 30 second timer again for me, that would Ooh. be amazing. Ooh. Should bring you around, man, and bring you around. A little catch challenge. Yeah, you ready? Looking really you ready, good. Husky? Ready, we're going to do gonna go? three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was just a throwing that error. Was just that was just a throwing error. Good oh, sorry. One. User error. Slow down, slow down. Nice. Get the focus, get the focus. Really good boy. Four, five, good. Six, good boy. Seven, good boy. eight. He's like, this is the easiest Nine. thing ever. Super boy. Ten. He's like, yeah, I love this. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> good boy. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Take a minute. Fourteen. Mm. 15, 16! No, oh my god! Into the paint the red. Into the paint the red. Right, okay. Oh my god, there's food right, fireworks everywhere. Food fireworks everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. It's good really boy. good. Really nice. Move him around. So I found an extra one. Don't call him now. So that's about picking your time to call. Don't yeah. call when he's in the middle of eating. Yeah. We can do that later on yeah. as an advanced exercise, but not yeah, right now. Boy. So not right now, Pim. That's looking really lovely. Good now, boy, nice. how happy is he on boundaries? Really good. How confident is he? Yeah. Let's hop him on this one. So let's bring him up on this one. Let's hop He's him like on here. This is against our plan, <laughs> but we're going with it anyway. Good boy. And Buffy. rewarding for being good on it. Good boy. Rewarding for being nice. here. And you're just going to settle here. Now, yeah. this for me is also a really good recall strategy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's the sort of dog that's going to roll and sniff and hunt when he's on the ground. Oh, yes. So picking him up and putting him on things like stones, tables, uh, and this is obviously, when I say tables, I mean out and about platforms, things that are raised is a really yeah. good move mm -hmm. because it doesn't give him the moment to carry on interacting with the environment. It yeah. gives him a job and he's effectively targeting. Mm -hmm. So when he's targeting, and was this in our plan today? No, no, not at all. No, you've just surprised me, but it's all good. Because Merlin's happy. <laughs> he did such a good go at Food Finder. Yeah and he did such a good go at Paint the Town Red, yeah. his catches were good. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know mm -hmm. what? Why keep him on the floor now to continue to get distracted? Actually, he's, he's done really well. Mm. He doesn't need mm. to find the food and the floor and the rolling interactive mm -hmm. for him. I don't mm -hmm. need him to do that. I know that this is a better move. So this is boundaries. Right. He has started some boundaries, but he's oh never yeah. been on this, right? No, he's never ever been on this platform before. So this is ever. new. I put it out here for easy if I needed it. So this is new. And boy, I really no. like that this is something he should do out and about. Yeah. So this is something he should do when he's mastering an environment. Why mm. might that be in an environment? Again, it, it takes his focus away from that and back to me. And he's, and he's grounded. He's and stationary like and him, he's in a place. What's he going to be like with sheep? Oh my God, <laughs> just, don't, just don't mention the sheep. <laughs> yeah, uh, he would, yeah, he'd be in the field, he'd be herding them, on it. that would be nice. Yeah, if that's herding all he would did. be the good option, all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. so I think it's really important we acknowledge that a dog like this should always be under close control, mm -hmm. should always mm -hmm. be under your very close vigilance, yeah. but equally yeah. games like this are gonna help him with his recall. So do you see how this is part of his recall yeah, game? Definitely. So actually anchoring him and targeting mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. so you can almost bring him back to a space or a place. Mm. So you're teaching targeting. So you did paint the town. I did. You did food finder. I did. You did a bit of scattering fireworks. We did. We also did drop <laughs> a lot of food on the floor. You did <laughs> some <laughs> great catching. Yeah. I think you got 18. 15, 15, 16, 16, 16 18. That was like at least three minutes ago. I can't remember. 17. 17. 17 wow. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you played some boundaries. Yes. I'm really happy with that session. You've done so Merlin. well. Now, yeah. just remind everybody, how bad was it when you started? Uh, what, what with him? Well, uh, no, as I, as I said, up, so it's just, he was 
out of control. You know, he was yanking so badly on lead. He's not pulling on lead now. And how he about food? Was he interested in he food? He would not take food at all. He was hard to feed at home. And so is this training real? Uh, look at it. Look at it. This is the dog. He, I swear that everything I said was true, but look at the dog I've got now. I mean, you just Absolutely. could not compare. You could not compare. I'm loving it. So I'm going to give you his lead back reluctantly. He's gorgeous. Right. He's you take your time me. to move out. I'm moving <laughs> up to the front just so I can tell everybody a couple of bits that I want to sure. share with them. He's been amazing. Guys, can you show oh. Love Day some love? Yeah. Well, Thank you. Amazing, Good amazing, boy. amazing, amazing. So I've got a couple of bits Good to tell boy. you guys. And Look we've it. just opened up spaces on our brand new Total Recall course. And for those of you asking and wondering, because we've had a lot of questions overnight, we've been inundated with questions in our help desk. And basically, you want to understand how this all works. So when you jump in, and if you don't know already, someone's going to be posting links, whether it's in YouTube, whether it's in Facebook, or whether it is in, uh, where else are we, Zoom. Someone is posting links right now. And so when you jump in, you should get a mail with login details to our site. You can log in and you can find the badge Total Recall. So that is your badge Total Recall. For a few of you asking for a site tour, because lots of you have said, is this new? Is this just the same stuff in a different space? It's absolutely brand new. And I know that some of you have asked for a sneak peek. You'd like to see some of it. And I understand that. It's always good to have a sneak peek. So it's completely brand new. It's completely filmed fresh. Nothing has been reused from any other program. So nothing has been re reused. Uh, and would you like to see, guys? If you'd like to see, tell me in the comments. So if you'd like to see, tell me in the comments, would you like a quick sneak peek of what it's about? Because we would like to show you inside if that's what you want. The other thing, guys, is for those of you asking lots of other questions and lots of other comments, we 100% have other breeds to train in a minute. So we are gonna do, uh, we're gonna do some Dalmatian games. For those of you wondering about the Frenchie that would like to bite me, she is also here. She's here, she's ready, I'm not. She is here and she's ready. Uh, so she has come here for uh, training or I'm not sure bite work or Schutzund or something like that, but she is here and she is ready. Uh, and so um, we're gonna show you a quick site tour. So we're gonna give you a very quick uh, inside the recall program tour. So you guys get to have a quick look at it. And for those of you wondering how much is it and all the other information, we'll tell you that as well, but it's just 47 pound right now. It's completely discounted. So whilst I run up to the studio, I am going to let you see a little tour of what's inside. Okay, so here we are. You're going to look through your badges and we're going into Total Recall and it's brand new. And so when you come in here, we've got some of your downloads from our resources to our training trackers, to our calendars, journals and trackers. Uh, really exciting. You can print some of these off and then we're going to look through our levels. We've got our Recall Rookie, we've got our Comeback Cadet, we've got our Chief Recall Commander. And for each session, you really can take it to Grand Guru of the Recalls. There are six of these and that's pretty darn cool. Now, as we move through the courses, there are games at each and every stage. That was a great photo there, wasn't it? And um, really what I love is we've gamified this in a fun way for you, but we've also given some really great clear instructions. It's very simple you mark each lesson as complete and that allows you to then progress to your next levels and you can progress at each and every stage i'm going to give you a little bit of theory but majority really is dog training and we've tried really hard to keep that theory super short so that majority is hands-on dog training and that's where i think you need the skills and that's where i see the gaps so we're trying to bridge that gap I work with multiple breeds. We have lots of students on board. We have our own dogs. We have other people's dogs. We have dogs that have not had any training. And what I really like is you're going to see some dogs who've really done very little. This is a little dog who is actually just staying on a holiday with this student. And so she's not even her dog. What I loved is we take dogs that have never played games before. And I really, really enjoyed teaching dogs who've just not seen it. Now, as we progress, it gets pretty exciting. And you really start to see those real life results. We start to play games in action out and about in different spaces and we're going to show you real life scenarios where dogs really do struggle to keep their impulses at the same time some of our solutions in the harder spaces and you are going to see this on tour it's not just in artificial scenarios I think that's really cool too and equally like I said different ages different stages different breeds different motivations dogs who may be sometimes quicker dogs who may be a little bit steadier dogs who are a little bit more nervous some dogs on lead some dogs off lead you really are going to see a variety and array of breeds and definitely not one size fits all. Now, like I said, as we're moving through this, you've got the games in action and you've got the individual games as we go through. Everything is completely brand new filming. So there's nothing in here that has been reused from any other course. And I think that's a really exciting space to be.
Oh my goodness, so many questions, so, so many, many questions. I've got literally just handed sheets and sheets yeah, of questions. I've got, I've got questions on my phone, Come I've got on. questions down there. So many. There are questions in every single direction. So, uh, first one is, my dog is 10 mm -hmm. with a history of poor recall. Can Total Recall help? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Doesn't matter how old your dog is, this will help them. No matter the age, no matter the breed, no matter the sort of mental capacity of that dog, no matter what they're doing, this definitely can help with your recall. And of course, when your dog's had a history of poor recall, we're up for a challenge, but mm. we are up for a challenge and we're ready to work with you. So please, please, please know that. And if you've already joined and if you're already in Total Recall, then introduce yourself in the community space. We loved meeting some of the people in the community space last night. That was oh, cool. immense, 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 immense. Now, please stay. We absolutely have more dog training for you. We're going to run through some questions and and of course we've got something to offer you but at the same time that doesn't mean we haven't got more free dog training too we have both and i think harper is downstairs ready to bite me so i am uh, interested about i think we're quite uh, excited how that about session it. is going we're a little bit excited um, i think it's harper. bite work i think it's bite work uh, we've also got marshall we've got the dalmatian we have got um, a really super little terrier uh, we've got a super little spaniel so mm -hmm. hopefully you're going to get to see all of them we've got a lot to cover so a couple of questions that we've got on here um, and that is i'm going to go to your sheet um, i'm new to dog training and i'm new to a dog as a dog owner i don't know a lot about this whole thing is this course going to be too hard for me no absolutely not absolutely it's all in bite size size chunks for you so it's a video that you can watch that you can learn a step at a time and then there is optional learning where you can get that core knowledge as well as the game so you've got loads of content there but you can do it in your own time and you definitely definitely this is so accessible to anybody we've had so many different students learn this way of training you absolutely will have no problem with it now michelle said i'm not in the games club and she's got crying faces you don't need to worry if you're not in the games club you can start at the base level of this course yeah. it's just 47 pounds i don't know if you've got a link for the course somewhere no, it's just it. 47 pounds at the base level it's literally in half price it's we've slashed the price to make it very very affordable it's a completely full course and the base level is just 47 pounds and you keep it for life and if you do want that that's absolute dogs.me forward slash total recall so absolute dogs.me forward slash total recall and recall's got two l's which i didn't realize recall's got two l's i can't spell <laughs> maybe you can't too now you know and now we've all been <laughs> having a school lesson with sam um, and the cool thing is uh, whether you can work it out at the base level or whether you can take it up a notch we've got you covered you get to keep the total recall brand new course for life stay with us we're going to do more dog training in a minute <laughs> i promise uh, and so uh, then the links in the comments please put the link in uh, youtube please put the link in zoom we want you all to have it and keep sharing because if you tell us you've shared and you absolutely have shared and we will check you've so shared excited. if you've shared tell us you've shared if you've shared this link if you've told people about this link if you've got people on board we've got some more prizes i've already given out two tonight maybe so already given out i'm two. not sure if they know how to share lauren so uh, let me just let you know is it's if you want to share you need to share the youtube so the live youtube to facebook or to any of your uh, i mean any of your other so social network um handles so that might be um instagram for example so you can share on facebook you can share Hello, it on Pete. instagram and you just need to set it to public and use hashtag Total Recall Live. So hashtag Total Recall Live wherever you share it. And Diane says, if you can join, there is so much content and you can leave whenever you want and you can stay for yep. as long as you want. So literally, that's really cool. Um, okay, so a few more questions. Someone's asked, they've already joined mm -hmm. at the second level. They yep. want to know if they can take it up a notch. Mm -hmm. If you yes. want to take it up a notch, all you need to do is contact our Ask team. So you go to our website, you contact our Ask team and they will help you take it up a notch. Now, we've got different levels. So we've got the Total Recall Collection. We've got Let's Stick Together. I've got too many pieces of paper in my hands <laughs> and I've got your comments in my hands and if you've got questions guys we're going to do more dog training in a minute I promise but we're also going to run through what you can get so this one Sam I'm what ready. do you get with the 97 pounds bundle it's literally it's a mega saving you're getting a massive discount you're going to get total recall number one so 47 pounds worth of total you. recall <laughs> you're going to get the whistle recall course yep. and a physical whistle we're going to post that one out we've already started posting these yesterday you're going to get a long line just like mine with easy a long line, you're going to get a puppy line, a thin line, so you're going to get a thin line, you're going to get a really sexy double lead, a sexy double lead with all of our branding on it, it's a really cool double lead, got very positive affirmations because we know you need them when you've got no recall, and, and they're really going to help, they're really pretty, <laughs> they're, they're really, really pretty. pretty, and you get a clicker, it so hasn't clicker. been in my mouth, it all gets posted, it all gets mailed to you, wherever you are in the world, that's £97, it's a mega bundle, it's super cheap, it's literally a bargain, and you get all of the courses as well, so you get all of the course as well we've got mega congratulations because we've already got quite a lot of people who have jumped in we've got Chantal we've got Kim we've got 
Anne, we've got Hilda, we've got Maria, we've got Jenny, we've got Joe, we've got Liam, and oh my God, we're moving pages. We've we got Henry, Henry, we've got Kylie, we've got Jess, we've got Jessica, we've got Rosie, we've got Adeline, we've got Julie, we've got Andrea, <laughs> we've got Catherine, we've got Jenny, we've got Joseph. You guys are amazing. We've literally flying through so fast, I don't even know many many people that jumped in so well done you guys and those of you that are sharing i've got to give another one. gail thompson you're having one of my random prizes i look down i see shared you are having you are having one of our prizes you're having one of our prizes jenny brimmel you're also having one of our prizes all you need to do is contact our ask team they're going to help you with prizes okay there's more our second bundle so you can go up in the bundles guys and i'm still going to be doing prizes i'm still doing prizes if you guys are sharing and there's more dog training to come okay so you get total recall you get the whistle recall. You get the recall rescue, which is mega. So you mm -hmm. get a mega value bundle so more right games. there. So many all games. All of the games. And you keep all Loads of these games. for life. You keep all of them for life. They're yours. Oh my God, they're still sharing. Shell Russell, keep sharing. you also get a prize. Shell Russell's going to get a prize. Right, you get your double lead. You get your treat pouch. I love my treat pouch. My treat pouch is amazing. Uh, you get your whistle. You get your line. You get your long line. She's challenging You get me. your clicker. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get your puppy line. Right. You're doing well. Right. Okay. No, and in addition to that, you <laughs> also get your two PDT connect, connect sessions, which are one-to-one -one sessions with our trainers. So our trainers are going to help you with one-to-one -one sessions. They're going to tailor make them to you. So they're going to tailor make them to you. Heidi, if I've called your name out, you contact the Ask team. They've got a special form. In fact, Alison is probably going to pop it there. Alison Lee, she's amazing. She's probably going to probably pop it there and tell you how to do it uh, if I've given you a prize. So if I've given you a prize, that's what we're going to do. You're going to go to absolutedogs.me forward slash help, forward slash help. So that's what you're going to do. Okay, and then our bundle three. Our bundle three gets a bit <laughs> mega. So you're going to get everything that you've heard beforehand. So everything you've heard beforehand. So that is your total recall. That is your whistle recall. That is a chase badge in addition, because we know you might be struggling. That is your recall rescue. And that is everything there for life. Now, in addition to that, you get all of the goodies. Yep. So you get all of the goodies. Some of them times two. You get an extra clicker. You get an extra whistle. You get an extra puppy line and you get some special coaching sessions and those coaching sessions are with me and we're going to do seven coaching sessions where we literally go into detail about how we're going to fix your recall we're going to come up, up with training plans we're going to work through distractions we're going to work through your dog jenny we're just going to work jumped through in. your problems jenny's jumped, jenny in. Just jumped in yes jenny yes they're randomly writing names at the back there they're still going uh -huh. names okay and in addition to that you're also going to get five individual sessions with literally one-to-one -one sessions and one of those is with me so a call that we're going to go into literally why your recall is going wrong and what we can do to save it what we can do to help you so i'm going to be taking that session and i am going to be taking some of i'm going to be taking all of your coaching sessions and in addition to that you're going to get literally five one-to-one -one sessions it's a mega deal it's a mega opportunity i'm excited now we've got more dog training we've got more dog training and who is excited about the dog training it's coming if you've got any questions about any of the levels we want to know mm -hmm. so if you've got any questions about any of the levels, I love that you guys are here. Hello, everybody behind us. Hello, Francis. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carolyn. Andrea Gentry, what are you up to? Give us a wave. Give us a wave. She's like, yeah, it's me. Hello, <laughs> lovely Laura. I love your smile. Kathleen, you're amazing. Lovely Catherine. You're a superstar. Um, and so, guys, whatever level you jump in at, we're really proud of you. We're really happy for you. And we want you to jump in. We, it's brand new. It's completely brand new. And I loved showing you just a tiny bit. We take you out and about. We work outside. You've got resources. We've got some cool core learning coming from you for you. We've also got literally uh, videos where it sometimes goes a bit wrong. And I think that's really cool for you to know. And in addition to that, there's a community space where we're going to do some live challenges. Now, some of the challenges we're going to do today, we're going to try and call easy away from eating food. Mm -hmm. If you think that's a good challenge, if you think that's a good challenge, we're going to try and call her away from eating food. Second, one, we're going to try and call her away from eating a food bowl. Mm -hmm. So she's in a food bowl. So she'll be in a food bowl eating food we're going to try and call her away from that actually eating if it you already. guys would like to see that while she's munching she's away munching. she's munching away we're going to call, call her from that dinner. no yes it is <laughs> um do you want to head down actually and start I'm getting ready i'm ready go and get ready for our students i know you guys want more training i know you want more training so sam's going to go down get a dog ready and start being ready to do some dog training with us i'm going to stay up here because it's much warmer and so i'm enjoying the warmth and i'll just let her go down there. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see some of those challenges, so the three challenges I've got, I'm going to do another catch challenge because I've got a feeling I can do better. 
I am going to do a food challenge where I call her off scattered food. I'm going to do a food challenge where I maybe call her off a bowl of food. I'm worried about this one because she's a greedy piggy. And then I'm also going to do a challenge where I call her off someone feeding her. So they are feeding her. We're going to see if we can sort of catch her out. We're going to see if we can catch her out, see if she can carry on eating. If it goes wrong, we're going to laugh. If it goes right, we're going to cheer. Because at the end of the day, can dog training be fun? Yes or no? Can dog training be fun? Yes or no? If you think it can be fun, I want you to put fun in the comments, guys. So put fun in the comments if you can think it can be fun. If you think it can be fun, put fun in the comments. God, the Zoom is crazy. The Facebook needs to catch up. The Zoom is chaos. So if you think it'd be fun, tell us in the comments. Okay, a little bit of a warm up, this or that. Are you ready for my this or that? So I've got a few more this or that's for you. Okay, I wanna know if you're gonna use a treat pouch or your pockets. Treat pouch or pockets. Treat pouch or pockets. Treat pouch or pockets. I try really hard to use my treat pouch and I still find food in every pocket. In every pocket. I always go, oh, this is my new jumper, I'm not gonna wear it for dog training. And then it gets covered in dog training. Um, okay, so tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, okay, another one I've got for you. Do you use a double clip lead, like mine? Do you use a double clip or do you use a single clip? Double clip or single clip? Double flip clip or single? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, do you use a whistle or a word or both? It's not a this or that, it's a this or that or both. <laughs> A whistle or a word or both? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I always used only a word until I owned Spaniels. And I have learned that a whistle has a great impact. And that is when uh, they get a little bit rangy. So I find both really, really impactful. So I use both, so I use both. Okay, I've got a couple of others for you. A couple of others. Ditch the bowl or learn to earn? Ditch the bowl or learn to earn? So do you ditch your food bowl and use it in your treat pouch? Do you ditch the bowl? Oh, they're both the same. <laughs> or learn to earn. I just read it out. Uh, do you ditch the bowl or do you do a food bowl? Do you ditch the bowl or do you do a food bowl? So let me know in the comments. I'm just reading out and didn't think about what I was saying. I did that earlier with a script as well. It's very funny. It's very, very funny. Um, okay, are you training an adult dog with us or are you training a puppy with us? What have you got? What are you training? Tell me in the comments, guys. Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. Okay, now before we head downstairs, I want to make sure that you guys have all got, I can't find them right now, but you've all got your chance for your show up bonus. Now remember, to get your show up bonus, you must put master in the Facebook comments. You must put master in the Facebook comments. And if you're not in Facebook and you're not in the comments here, you need to do, uh, say you're in the um, YouTube space, you're going to do absolutedogs.me forward slash total recall. No, not that one. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. I don't even need to worry. There you go. It's on the screen. Um, they've got me covered. They've got me covered. Uh, and I love that you're putting it in the comments too, guys. Now, before we go downstairs, I think they're pretty ready. Thank you for my screen. It's amazing. I think they're pretty ready. But if you have shared, there's a chance for one more prize. There's a chance for one more prize. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to tell me shared. And I also on top of putting shared, I want you to tell me how many catches you think I'm going to do next time. How many catches do you think I'm going to do next time? Because if you can get the shared and the catch bit right, we've got shared 20, we've got shared 40, we've got shared 27. You guys are confident in me. Shared 35. So I want you to tell me shared. So you're going to share it somewhere. And in addition to sharing it, you're going to tell me how many catches I'm going to get in 30 seconds. Tell me in the comments. Right, we're ready downstairs. They're ready to take you downstairs to the students. We are here, we are here with Tia, it almost rhymes, doesn't it? It almost yeah. rhymes. Tell me Tia, what, what dog have you got with us today? Uh, the bitey French the bulldog. Bi <laughs> the bitey French bulldog. Now we promised you that there was a dog called Harper that doesn't like Lauren, that might try and bite her, and that is Harper, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. tell me a little bit about Harper. Uh, well, when she was younger, she went through a phantom pregnancy. Oh no! And it messed up all her hormones, so she's a bit all over the place. And what sort of stuff does she do as a result of that? What does she do? Uh, she lunges. She lunges. Barks, she barks. Lunges at Lauren. <laughs> she lunges at Lauren. She doesn't Literally, like Lauren. The first time I met her, I didn't know about this until she suddenly <laughs> ran at me and was like, no, 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 no. And she's got a really different noise. Yeah. Have you ever heard a Frenchy noise? Like, yeah. I'm not very um, au fait with Frenchies. Like, I've not met many of them. Uh, it's just, they're just not typically what we see here in the centre. 
and I love her. I think she's hilarious. But she also really would like to bite me. And it's not a joke. Like she really would yeah. like to bite me, wouldn't she? Yeah. So there is a bit of I'd like to bite Lauren. Yeah. So um, tell us, has she got a recall? No. And would you worry if she got off lead? Definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. see her again. <laughs> I wouldn't see her again. Or Lauren's leg. Or my leg. <laughs> I need my leg. And is she the sort of dog that is quite independent? Yeah, she is. Is she quite yeah. opinionated? Yeah. Um, and do you have a multi-dog household? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, so right. you have lots of dogs. And so actually, is she, is she different to training, say, your little border collie? So she's not as easy to train, right? Yeah, she's stubborn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she is thing. stubborn. She is stubborn. And does she feel a bit difficult? Yes. Okay, so who would like to see Harper or should we just move on to the next dog? Because it'd be easier just to take a dog that isn't stubborn, right? It'd be easier to take a dog that just is a lot easier to reward. It'd be easier to take a dog that didn't want to bite me, right? So let's move on. Thank you, Tia. We'll see you real soon. It's been amazing. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, you're actually going now. Goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, poor Tia. No, Tia, seriously, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Um, so you are going to get her out. Yeah. When you get her out, she's like, really? What's happening? You're going to get her out. And when we bring her out, you're not going to put her straight in my space and I won't put myself straight in her space. What I'll do is I'll be here and I am going to talk about this because I think it's important. Our setup's important. So I'm going to be here. You're going to bring her over and you're going to go straight into a mouse game. Okay. Now, what a mouse game is for everyone that hasn't played this before, it's a focus game where she's got to have a focus on Tia because ultimately I really don't want to put her in the situation that as funny as it is that we have Harper, the, the Frenchie, that is like a serious like ego issue. Uh, <laughs> she actually is quite a sensitive little dog, I think, in some way. She's got her yeah. own little quirks. So we're going to play a mouse game and we're going to get her focusing on you. Yeah, we're going to yeah. get her focusing on you. Okay. I won't move too quickly. I'm slightly concerned I left my ankles out today um, but I'm not going to get too close to her and you're just going to go into some focus work right so we're going yeah. to some focus work so Harper's here for don't bite Lauren that <laughs> is the game don't bite Lauren uh, and we're going to see how it goes ready yeah go grab her okay so Sam when we're working with dogs like this because mm -hmm. it is quite typical isn't it, it that is. we work with dogs like this yeah Actually, I think it's really important we acknowledge we're not going to put them in a situation that actually she needs to bite me. Yes. So as much as I know that you guys would like to see a reactive dog and a dog that really dislikes me, we can definitely show you videos. I'll get some videos and put them on the Facebook page because we've got them. Uh, and there'll definitely be videos going into the Games Club and definitely videos that we can share mm -hmm. on YouTube even. What I don't want to do is put her in the situation that she needs to do it unnecessarily because yeah. actually for her, the more she comes here and rehearses that, the yep. more she is going to do that. Yep. And so I think it's really important that we acknowledge that we've got games to help her. Now, I'm thinking before she even gets out here, because Tia is only 14 with her, mm -hmm. I'm thinking before she gets out here, we're going to do mm -hmm. probably some middle, yep. probably a little bit of mouse game yep. and probably a little bit of um, disengagement sort of opportunities. Yes. What would disengagement opportunities look like? So what could we do with Mira? That might be, let's say she just looked away from you for a moment. We might reward that choice because actually that's quite hard if she's a bit worried about you then she might struggle to look away and disengage from you and so actually we're going to feed her when she does it so anytime she even just looks away or she takes a step away we're going to reward that choice so i want to see in the comments guys are you excited to see Harper? Uh, what are you thinking about seeing Harper? Uh, are they ready? Oh, Harper's in. Harper's ready. Ready. <laughs> ready. Harper's ready. She's good. Okay, so she's rolling. She's feeling cool. She's feeling cool. Right, go straight into a mouse. Go straight into a mouse. Harper's like, I'm just loving life here. Right, okay, nice. So straight into the mouse. Let's turn that the other way a little bit, just so she doesn't do bum to camera, Harper says. Bottom to camera, that's lovely. Right, straight into, straight into the uh, mouse game. So pop your food down, really nice. She's like, I just want to roll, actually. Right, feed her. Just feed her for me. Just feed her for me. Nice. We can feed her on the back. I'm going to go with feeding on the back. Look, guys, show some love for Harper. So show some love for Harper because Harper is actually quite a naughty but nice dog. You might not see it here, but she is quite a naughty but nice dog. Straight into it again, fast as you can before she goes to roll because you can see it's going to come. Now feed her, feed her, really nice. She's like, I don't want one piece. I want all of them, thanks, Tia. And another, good. Keep it uncovered. Nice, really nice. Take it, but that's lovely for her. And I love that Tia's trying to keep her moving. And I know you guys might think, oh, <laughs> do you see that stealing moment? The fact that she's just grabbed it and stolen it. Okay, so, and again, Tia, food on the floor, in a cage. Nice. Quick to feed her, quick to feed her. Lovely, really nice. She's like, I've got a double whammy there. Thanks, Tia. Nice, feed her. Flick it at her away from her. That's lovely. Really nice, really nice. Now, you're going to give her a little bit longer lead here now, and I know you're a bit worried about that, but you're going to give her a longer lead. So you're going to unclip one of them, feed her there for hanging out with you. So feed her for hanging out, really nice. So we're going to give her a little bit nice feeder again. Great decision she's making, and give her the length of her line. So give her the length of that lead. We're not going to put her on a long line. She's still on a double clip lead. So I think her double clip lead is really nice for her. And I know you guys, I will get you a video. I'll get you a video in the next week or so. I'll pop it on our, on our page. Good girl, really nice. And cover the food if she comes near it. Nice and away really nice okay let's pick the food up she's looking quite cool let's go into middle 
The thing to notice with a dog like Harper, and I know you haven't seen it, um, and I don't really want to put her in a situation where she needs to show it, but it doesn't take much to trigger her to want to lunge. So one minute she's good, the next minute she'll lunge. And she lunges and she lunges with teeth. Right, and feed. And we're going to feed a little bit quicker before she mugs you, but we're also not going to, if she does mug you, we're not going to immediately shove food in her mouth. Okay. Right, feed now. She's got like a little snort, isn't she? Yeah, <laughs> she sounds like a little piggy. <laughs> and again, straight in, really nice, really nice. Look the other thing, if you ever look. train with a trainer who's nervous of your dog, you need to change your trainer. So the trainer really can't be nervous of your dog. I think that's really important. So I don't, I, I don't feel, as much as I take biting seriously, I don't feel nervous of, of working with Harper in any way. And I think this is really important. Now, it's really important that Harper does come back dropping again, nice dropping, this is looking great. It's really important that Harper does come back because at the end of the day, Harper is a bit of a dangerous dog if she does get loose. And I think that, I know it sounds silly, because she looks so little and harmless but she really is a dog who is worried and will bite and so i think recall for her does mean keep rewarding you're fine to reward this is really nice recall for her does mean it might be a long line and really being vigilant about what's around us and not letting her off ever when you know there are people close and at the moment she doesn't get off at all right no yeah so she's on lead all the time yeah so she's on lead. All the time. now let's good now she's been doing some tricks yeah right show us a couple of little tricks show us a couple of little Three. tricks oh <laughs> don't kick her in the head <laughs> She's like ready for this. Nice, look at you playing clever games. Really nice, lovely stuff, really good. Harper, ballet. She's got ballet, she's got ballet. Guys, some love for Harper, some love for Harper. Uh, guys, who loves tricks? If you love tricks, tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments, really lovely. And turn around, see if you can cut, lovely ballet. Gorgeous ballet, Harper. And again. I'm tired, ready? <laughs> lovely girl now girl. although she barks i think that that we need to separate away from where we are and i think we do need to think for her for harper number one is focus and actually we have got more focus than we used to have is that correct yeah so she's focusing yeah. better and typically what sort of situation would she like to dislike someone in or would she go to sort of lunge or bark or bite um if they're making lots of fuss okay she'd definitely go for them yeah um, and if they had a dog as well she if they've like got lots. a dog or if there's lots of fuss. Yeah. So let's say there's a dog coming over. I'm not going to bring the funky chicken or the gorilla <laughs> or the dinosaur or any of the dogs. So nobody is coming over. But let's say there's a dog going, coming over. I want to give you a little strategy for that. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to run your hand down the lead okay. and you're just going to take her away and then you're going to feed her. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to have it ready. So untangle the leg a little by just moving her around. You can just move it with the food. So just move the lead with the food and that's it. Really nice. Like I've got the other one. Really yeah. nice. So all you're going to do is feed her now for a minute. So drop one piece on the floor and another piece on the floor and then you can slide the hand on the lead so we're gonna, when i say there's a person coming so there's someone coming across now you're going to slide the hand down the lead and take her away from a to b so just straight away nice and then feed her feed her feed yeah. her tia that was amazing guys Good in the job. comments let her know how brilliant that was because she really listened and tia was that planned no. did i tell you we we're going to do that no. no we were going to do harper don't bite lauren yeah. that was all we were doing yeah? yeah okay let's try again so i'm going to say there's a dog in the distance and the dog is coming across now you're going to run your hand down the lead and you're going to take her away, and now you're going to feed her. That's just yes. amazing. Your mechanics are beyond beautiful. Good like job. really, really gorgeous, really nice. Right, come back along this way. We're going to do a little bit of disengage from Lauren, don't bite her ankles. Yeah, so we're going to do don't bite her ankles. So all we're going to do at first is you're going to throw a little piece of food over here, only a small one, not so close that she can get me. And then you're going to reward her the second. Nice, yes. reward that, really nice. Good job. And you're going to reward her with a bit of rewind. So you're going to pop a piece of food out here, and then you're going to call, well, not call back, wait for her to turn, yeah. and then rewind and keep her moving. Okay. Yeah, ready? And then second she turns, nice. Yes. Rewind, keep her moving, gorgeous. Absolutely blooming Good lovely. Job. Really fantastic. And again, throw a piece of food towards me, not so close that she's at my ankles, and then wait for it nice yes. really nice now remember if you're working with a dog like harper we're assessing all the time what she's doing and we're assessing where we are uh, and i think it's really important we don't put her or me in a situation that doesn't end well however i think that is a really nice space to be in i think you're brilliant yeah. at handling her and i think that's really good let's do one more of those so you're going to pop a piece of food over here and then the second that she reorients to you you're going to mark her and you're going to go backwards in some crazy rewind and you're going to tell her how brilliant she is ready nice wait for it nice yes, really job. nice that's absolutely well blooming 
gorgeous. Tia, that's amazing. You're going to wander her out. So she's going to go out there and we're not going to do too much more with her. And I think it's really important. Guys, let us know in the comments what you thought of that and what you thought of those games, because at no point did we put uh, her in the situation that she wasn't comfortable. She played tricks. She did a little bit of disengagement. So leaving the distraction or the thing that she wanted in the distance, because whether she wants to bite your ankles or roll on the half eaten hamburger, doesn't really matter which, neither are appropriate. And then also notice that we did some middle and we did some mouse games. So there are a lot of games there. If you thought that was action packed, let me know because I thought there was a lot of training there that happened. We played a game called Rewind. She looked fantastic. Now, before we head upstairs, I've got a couple of questions for you. And my first one is, have you ever heard this before? I've got it here, but I'm probably gonna need to read it out for you because I don't know how close I need to get to the camera. But it is, he just wants to say hi. He just wants to say hi. Have you ever heard it when someone says, he just wants to say hi? Or the other one that's very similar to this, it's okay, he's friendly. It's okay, he's friendly. He just wants to say hi. And if you're the person that says this, because I'm sure it's been there before, I'm sure you've heard those words come out of your mouth or maybe your partner's mouth or locally. Uh, if you're finding yourself saying this, you need to work on your recall. And if you're finding other pay people say this, you need to share this recall space. You need to share this recall space because absolutely this 100% can be literally turned around with games like you've just seen us play with Harper. Now we're heading back up to the studio. We've got more questions. We've got more learning. We've got lots more dogs to train yet. So we're not even remotely over. We've got about four more training rounds to see. Stay with us. We're heading back to the studio. That was amazing. Tell us if you liked that. Tell us how cool Tia is because to have such a, a young trainer have such passion for dogs, absolutely amazing. Tell me that you loved it. Now I've got a really cool question for you. This question I keep seeing, how do the games get me a recall? Great, great questions. The games are gonna get a dog that really wants to focus on you and they're gonna grow skills. So they're gonna help your dog understand what it is that you want from them. And that's where we're gonna get a dog that absolutely loves being around you and is less bothered about the environment out there. At the moment, the environment is a good deal. The environment is what your dog loves. What we want is for your dog to love you. So the games are all about relationship with you, to build focus with you, to build loving coming back to you because you're cool, you're better than the environment. So the games are gonna get you that. So have you ever heard that comment, guys? He just wants to say hi, or it's okay, he's friendly. Like I've heard that so many times. And when I hear that comment, depending on the dog I have, it freaks me out. Yeah. It freaks me out. If I've got a dog like <coughs> Liza's little dog, Katie, Katie's worked so hard on being cool around dogs, to have another dog rush into her space is not cool is really not cool. She is friendly. She does not need another dog rushing up to her. Who in the comments agrees with that? If you agree with that, guys, share this live. Let's help educate people all over the world that that just because your dog's off lead and they're friendly does not mean they should be out of control. They are out of control if you can't get them back. If you can't get your dog back, they are out of control. Get your dog a recall. Literally train a recall because it's so much fun but also your dog is your responsibility. I had a really odd experience a few mm. weeks ago where I was out on horses with my daughter, Eliza's got ponies. She is literally pony mad. And we were riding along, it was her birthday and somebody basically had a dog off lead. And in that moment with that dog being off lead, running up at her, basically my horse started acting up a bit, didn't mm -hmm. like the dog running around him. And I came off and the owner's answer was, and I think this is really interesting, if you want to put some Facebook angry faces, I'm absolutely up for Facebook angry faces here. You know what? This really freaked me out. The owner said, if your horse can't cope with a dog, and I was like, what yeah. parallel universe are we on? <laughs> what parallel universe are we on? So if you want to put some angry faces about that, guys, you can put some angry faces. I was like, if your horse can't cope with being chased by a dog, and I genuinely was like, this is a shock. So anyone who says he just wants to say hi or don't worry he's friendly you need the recall course no question you need the recall course it is absolutely in your dog safety it's absolutely in public interest it's absolutely in the way of the world that we need to train a recall now even if you can't get the recall course please 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 share all of this so that people can get the show up bonuses show up bonus today 
Remember, how do you get it in the comments, guys? You're going to post in the comments. It's Facebook. Facebook, you're going to post master. Remember, if you're sharing, and tell us in the comments if you're sharing, because I'm about to pick up some more prizes. I want to tell you about prizes, because there are more prizes. In fact, I want to give the holidays away. I, I, I want to I, I wanna give the holidays oh. away. I want to give the holidays away. Let's give away a couple of dog training I'm holidays. Excited for that. Couple of dog training holidays. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. I'm going to pick in a minute. I'm going to pick in a minute. Um, and so for me, at least share and get those uh, yeah. into the right spaces. You could share it on WhatsApp to a friend group. You could share it on Facebook. You can share it all over. We want to see it. You had something to say. I kept interrupting. Go. <laughs> I was just going to say, if you're it. on Zoom, if you're on YouTube, if you're anywhere but Facebook, you want to put in absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master. And if you want to know how to share, then you can share the live YouTube to Facebook, to Instagram, wherever you want, but put hashtag total recall live and set it to public. So I love that someone's been sharing and someone else has been sharing. Shearing. Yeah, someone else has been <laughs> what sharing. What have they been sharing? I know, I was wondering that too. But I don't Not think we'll dog, go into I that hope. here. Not their dog. Um, maybe the sheep. Maybe the sheep. Or maybe the Makes pony. Makes more sense. Maybe the pony. Um, okay, so um, I think you should go down and get our next student ready. I'm ready. Ready. Yeah. Go, go, get them. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. Do you I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. You guys get next. Do I tell you? Oh, you're going to get some fun games. You're going to get some fun games. Uh, who would like to see the Terrier next? Who would like to see the Dalmatian next? Who would like to see, what else have we got coming? Our Cocker Spaniel next. Who would like to see some more dogs? Tell us if you'd like to see some more dogs. Okay, I am going to pick who's going to win a little mini holiday in a minute. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Keep telling me you've shared, guys. There's really no limit. If you're really interactive, I don't see why we should limit it. So keep sharing because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And you can share it to any dog group. You can share it to any dog page. You can share it to mother, sister, father, brother, long lost lover, but maybe just leave it at sharing. Okay, so guys, um, I'd really love to know in the comments, what stops your dog coming back currently? So what stops your dog current coming back currently? So what's one of the things that can stop your dog coming back? Tell me in the comments, what is one of the things that makes it difficult for your dog to come back? So for easy, her biggest reason for not coming back is she doesn't like the car. And I know you guys might think that's funny, like as in weird, she doesn't like the car. So it's not that she doesn't want to come back, she doesn't want to get in the car. Does that make sense? And so that for me is one of mine. We've got, Chris has got more dogs. Claire has got, oh, she wants to see a terrier. Well done, Claire. Um, Claire from Australia. Uh, Natalie loves a terrier. So guys, tell me in the comments, what stops your dog coming back? What stops your dog coming back? Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. An off-leash dog, sniffing, hunting, loose food, Horses, neighbour, running, uh, thinking the fun is ending. Chelsea, I understand that for my dogs. Um, so yeah, absolutely, like really vital that you guys understand why your dog doesn't want to come back or what would stop your dog coming back. Okay, I think we're ready to head downstairs to the training. I'm going to check that we're ready to head downstairs to the training. Are we ready to head down the downstairs? We're ready. Let's head down to the training. We're here. We're here with Sue and John, and you're going to bring in, who are you going to bring in today? Dotty. Okay, what game are you going to play, do you think? We're going to play catch. We're going to play catch. Mm -hmm. Fantastic game. Now tell me a little bit about what life was be like before Absolute Dogs with Dot. <laughs> <laughs> the laughing says it all, doesn't it? I'm struggling to find a polite word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it, was, it was extremely difficult. It was. Yes. It was extremely difficult. Yes, that's and a word for What sort of stuff it. are you getting before? Uh, we had a dog that lunged, pulled, didn't yeah. sleep, yeah. totally reactive. Now actually, people. I mean, really, when you're saying it didn't sleep, what was the situation? Because it got really actually quite extreme, didn't it? Yes. Tell um, us about that. Well, um, do you want the truth? She, yeah. the, she, whole, the whole, the whole truth. So basically you ended up not being able to sleep in the same room because you had to be downstairs. Yeah. Yes, I was so sleeping it downstairs. it was so bad mm. that it got to the point where mm. actually now she was disrupting your life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then out yeah. of walks, what did that look like? she just pulls you down the road she yeah. just wants to be down over there and there's nothing there for her to go and play with. has she got a yeah. recall did she have a recall no. no not at all not at all not at all and that's hard right mm. oh, what did yeah. that feel like out and about in you know and and for you guys as well and for your you know as a in, in a relationship with a dog that's being difficult what was that like 
There were many tears. Many tears, mm. mostly from John, right? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. absolutely. No, me, me. I was, I cried, and yeah. I cried, yeah. and I cried. And because only in, only in a dog sometimes that won't come back, and only in a dog that's maybe quite difficult, yeah. Yeah. can be painful, it can be, mm. it can be really hard, and it can actually sometimes actually affect, I'd say, our mental health a little bit as well. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. And, and also you stop having friends around. Yes. You yeah. don't have visitors, you don't see people, you don't go to people's houses, you don't meet up with people. And you you're so worried that your dog's going to run mm. away on a walk that you don't go for walks with friends mm. anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. too hard, isn't absolutely. it? It's too hard. You Awful guys life. have got, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. And then <laughs> someone else, you guys are absolutely amazing. So much love for Sue and John. That was Aww. Jamie. Yeah. Uh, and then you've also got Spaniel, noses to the ground. And then you've also got smells. And then you've also got, you guys are awesome. So there's loads of cool comments here. Now, do you guys want to go and get ready? Yep. I think to bring them in well bring them in you're not gonna bring them both in you're gonna no, bring john dot. and dot <laughs> john and dot <laughs> john and dot go and get ready guys go and get ready john's on the lead though so john is on the lead john's on the lead, john's on the lead. <laughs> bring dot off <laughs> So I think it's really important that we acknowledge that they're mm. not the easiest dogs necessarily. You've got Jack yeah. Russell Terriers. I've got two Jack Russell Terriers. Tell us a little bit about them. I always, I always want to say Jack Russell Terriers. Yeah, literally wild, <laughs> you know, aren't they? They're just really, um, they're very determined, you know, yep. so they're very gritty and determined and they will not give up on something they want. So you, get, you know when you get like a treat under, under the sofa or something and you've got a dog that's on their side trying to get under the sofa and sometimes gets a head stuck under the sofa, that has happened, but out and about, You've got a dog that just won't let up. You know, all of the um, distractions out there, whether it's smells, whether it's critters, whether it's people, I've got one that loves people, one that loves everything else. They just don't want to know you. It takes a lot of hard work kind of to get to the point where you can get them. But when you're playing games, it's easy. It makes it feel so much more straightforward, doesn't it? It's easy because your dog wants to be around you. Have you become a bit addicted to playing games? <laughs> I'm beyond addicted, beyond addicted. Like, it, I mean, I practically live and breathe it, you know, because it's just fun. You're about you to know, go and work away for a bit, aren't you? Yeah. And actually, one of your biggest, like, upsets uh, when you go away is yeah. you stop playing games. Yeah, I definitely, I love my wife. I'm going to miss my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to train my dogs. <laughs> yeah, and, I really do. I really the important do. thing is, Jack Russell Terriers, when you're training them, yeah. is it important that you get hold of what we were talking about yesterday on yesterday's um, webinar, seminar, mm -hmm. training session, you get hold of number one for me is desire. Yes, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And do you know, my, my um, first dog did not want to know food. So she was definitely that sort of dog that would spit stuff out at me. And I was like, how am I gonna, how is this gonna work? I haven't got a dog that wants a reward. You have a reward. She doesn't want anything from me. She didn't want toys. She and who has experienced that, guys? Let us know if you've ever experienced that. So if you've ever experienced that, a dog who doesn't want a reward. Yeah. So tell us in the comments if you've ever experienced that, where Not your dog doesn't motivated. want a reward. Doesn't because want I think that's really important that we try and help you. We have got, um, I think we should actually add this to the badge, you know, 10, 10 days to food craze. Yeah, I love that. Like toy craze dog so how that to change, teach changed dog. our life if that helps yeah. i think that we're going to make sure that you get that as well because yeah, i feel sure. like that should be added to everything i feel like that that is needed like yeah. i feel like you need to understand how to master food and, and it can how change to master it can change you know you can change your dog's motivation for food and mm -hmm. i've done it and i've had loads of students that we've transformed with games because your dog suddenly is love it's more than just the food yeah it's that they just they love the games they love the food they love you so, so many people said yeah absolutely this is a struggle yeah. this is a struggle well i think dot's in the building she's about to come in she's ready i'll meet you back upstairs in Let's a second so you guys go up there carry on staying warm mm. we'll uh, carry on freezing down here and um, and uh, get over here oh god he's coming in his funky slippers he's coming in his funky slippers so john you've got your sparkly shoes i've on. got my sparkly Disco shoes, shoes I, ready. I, I just can't compete <laughs> <laughs> So tell us, what are you going to be doing? What are you going to be doing with her? Good girly. What's she doing? What's she playing? Catch. Catch, let's see. Yes. So we're going to do a little bit of catch. So let's see her catch. Are you ready? Let her shake. You know what? Before she even does off. any of that, let's let her shake it off. Yeah. Good. Let's let her shake it off. She's got a little dancing oh, shoes. Da, 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 da. We're going to be playing some catch. Okay, like let's me. see your catch. You've got shoes like your dad. Yeah. You've got shoes like your dad. Are right, you ready? ready? Are you ready? Okay, we've got... Oh, nice. She's looking good at catch. Okay, Oops, so catch, why is it a good game? Keep playing it slowly for me, but why is it a good game for her, Sue? Because her focus is on me, and it's on me and the food, and it's not on everything else that's going on around and about us. Hey, and you can see, can't you? She thinks about things moving in the in the, in the distance. She thinks about things good that girl. are out and around going on. But actually, that's she is also uh, able to reorient back to you again. And even with disco shoes here, and even with sparkly shoes here, she's able to do that. Now, I want to take her. We're going to come over to this boundary over yep. here. So we're going to pop her up, and we're going to take it up a notch. So we're going to take oh. it up a notch. So she hasn't seen this one before. It's hey, new. Let's see what she can do with this. Oh. 
So it's a bit tall, Mum. Thanks, oh, good reward nice. her there. And good let's see now if she can nice. catch on this one. So let's take it up a notch and let's see if she can catch on this one because this is going to be a little bit harder for her. Good. Good girl. Like, you don't know what hard is. I'm a terrier. Good. <laughs> so I can't catch if my mum throws it over no. my head, though. No, rubbish throw That's is a all rubbish right. throw. Don't worry. Nice. Really good nice. Girl. Oops. Good dog. Up, up. Straight back up. up. Good, good girl. Straight back to you. Really nice. You are good today. Super. Okay, I think we can do our 30 second timer. Are we oh, ready? Hang on, let me get ready. She's going to get ready. She's let me get ready. Hang on. on. No pressure. Let me so get ready. So we can ready. do the 30 seconds of catching. You're trembling with excitement, aren't you? Oh, hang on. You're very excited. Have we got the food ready? I have the food ready. Right, three, two, one, go. We've got one. Whoa, <laughs> not quite. Do it right, do it right. It's fine. We can up, still make it up. Up, up. Good. We've Good got. Girl. Whoa, it's hard on the table. Anna, it's you're fine. Hard. You're fine. Oh, it's hard. Don't it's fine. Me. You're coming back up. She says, I've got those two. Don't you worry. Hop. Back up. Good. Good. It's okay. <laughs> now, it's interesting. We'll keep playing. We'll keep playing because we'll play on the ground as well in a minute. It's interesting because this makes it a lot harder for her. And I think this is good. We didn't know that that would make it harder for her, but I think it's absolutely no, good. We've got one. We've got two. We've got three. Good. So we've got three, three on time then. Now we're going to try that on the floor. Okay. So let's try that exactly Quick. the same. We're going to be ready to time and we're going to time it on the floor. So are you ready? Get Don't your you attention. You've got your food. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Don't worry, take your time. Nice. One. Two. Oops. Oh, <laughs> that was a good try. That was a good uh, Two. Hey. And again. Two. Three. Keep going. That was Have just the fun. throw. Have Wait for the fun. attention. Wait for the attention. Hey. Bring it back. Sweetie. Good. Four. Good and again. And do you see how you lost her there? Yeah. Now, don't worry about losing her. So that's, like you said, it's about having fun. Absolutely. So we still want to make sure we're having fun. Keep your food ready because you're going to be rewarding. Now, one thing I want to do, and I think this is really important, and so many people get this part wrong. I'm going to put your comments away. I'm coming back to them in a minute. But so many people get this wrong. Now, when they feed, they break for a minute. I would keep a real surprise in your schedule of reinforcement and your okay. rate of reinforcement. So okay. how you reward... Oops how you reward, where you reward, when you reward, why you reward, and your timing and your placement of your reward is all really important. I know that's a lot of whens, wheres, whys, hows, it is. but it's really important. What I want you to do is to quite often surprise her with one and immediately one again. Okay. So she doesn't ever think that one and then there's at least 10 seconds before the next one. And okay, I think that so goes no wrong for a lot for of dogs. Think. Yeah, I think, I think it's almost like you don't want, you want to almost keep a guessing. Yeah. One, oh, and another. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, if someone tapped you on the shoulder, gave you 10 pound, and then tapped you on the other shoulder and gave you another 10 pound, you'd be yes. quick to pay attention to the tap on your shoulder yeah because yes. you'd be like <laughs> it would be happening so frequently mm -hmm. so let's try that we're going to do feed and then feed again and you can throw it or you can i, I almost want to go bang bang so like catch mm. catch if we can drop your line i don't think she's going anywhere not going anywhere one two nice That'd straight up good. nice there you go three nice quick nice nice good girl loving it so pop it back on the table Good girl. Now, notice how we use a table. We use a table in recall or mm. the table or a platform or some form of station to teach her a target space when you're not going to do anything else. For me, okay. what I love is it helps to keep the dog in close proximity to you. Lovely reward. Helps to keep you in close proximity to you. And again, and again, and again. And it's only because she can see people and dogs mm. moving in the background. You're just going to feed her for just coming back into you. Brilliant. And you're not going to constantly feed. You're going to mm -hmm. vary that schedule. So you're going to vary that schedule. So a bit like a slot machine. Yeah. The reason you keep paying in is because it sort of varies its schedule of paying out mm -hmm. and it becomes a bit addictive. That's why Easy plays the game she does with me. It's an addictive, I'm an addictive slot machine sort yeah. of game with her. You're going to do exactly the same with her because, and, and you know, we had this question the other day, you said, do I drop the line and do I actually let them off lead and in different spaces? That's right, yeah. I truly would with a dog like her once I get her well on this varied schedule yeah. of reinforcement where okay. she doesn't know how it's going to work. Now, the thing I think has been going wrong for you guys a little mm. is you've been too constant at the same pace. Yeah. What I think you need to do is really vary it up. Sometimes you don't reward her for five minutes, mm -hmm. and other times, let's have a handful of food. Other times, and you keep someone new too, other times she's rewarded every two seconds, right. like within the game. So sometimes you'll be like bang, 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 mm -hmm. and other times you'll be like, I'm actually not going to give you anything okay. for a couple mm. of minutes. It just depends on how difficult the environment is, and it depends on how much is going on and what distractions are around, how much food she's had, how much exercise she's had, how her bucket is, as in has she had a stressful day or an easy day? Yeah, Have you guys had a stressful headspace, day? Just, exactly, all it. of yeah. the above. So we're thinking all of the above. 
Ready to do one more round of the same? Yep. Very schedule. So put her back on the floor. We're going to do a ping ping, and then we're going to wait a second, and then we're going to reward again. So hold sl slow for a sec. So you're going to do one, two. She's just, I'm going back to this <laughs> table, actually. You're going back to your mum. Come on, Dotty. Good girl. Over Good there. Girl. Right, one, two, and then wait a second. Sorry, girly. Feed now. Good. Now wait a second. Now. And now. Good. Good girl. So you're going to keep her guessing. Head up. Nice. Now. Good. And then a bang, bang. Mm -hmm. And you can see just before she'd gone. Nice. Just before one, she went. Two. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So I want it to be like, she's, she's there. One, two. Good girl. Good Let's girl. Shake it off. Good. One, two. And then give it a breather. Nice. Now give it a breather. Fiddle with your pocket. Fiddle with your pouch. Now feed. And you can see you're keeping the attention in the gaps. Pop it back on the table. Mm. For me, the important thing with recall, I think loads of people get this wrong, is it's also what happens. It's not just what happens when yeah. they come back. It's what happens in the gaps. Okay. So it's what they do in the gaps. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, she gets frustrated quite quickly. Absolutely, but on a recall she doesn't. What she's doing at the moment, on a recall, she's likely to leave you. Yes. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah. So I want to know in the recall that you've got her when you call her mm -hmm. but not only when you call her what about when you're not calling her it's the gaps that are important okay. and it's a funny thing you know what i do agility and i do agility competitively and i have for a long time it's the same in agility it's not just what happens on the jumps it's what happens in between the jumps yeah. so my dogs okay. are fast in between the jumps not just in the jumps on a recall it's important what happens in between the recall yeah. not just with the recall does yeah. that make sense yeah. Absolutely. and i think that's golden yeah. i think that is golden i think that's golden in dog training and it's not just the recall that's important it's the fact that she doesn't want to bog off in the first place exactly. it's the fact that she wants to hang out in the first place yeah. those are all really important to me as well does that make yeah. sense yeah. and this is where an anchor like this comes yeah. in and no you don't have to at home have a table in your living room like this one this could be any type of bed so this yeah. could be any type of bed now before we head back up to the studio i'm going to do this or that have you got homemade treats or yes. have you got shop Bought treats homemade very nice and they are gorgeous i have to you can say eat them yourself i have to say now sue and john aren't with us tomorrow because where are you going, going to south next? Africa. they're going to south africa and they're going to have a lovely lovely time away so they're not here tomorrow we'd love them to be here tomorrow uh, but they are not here with us for our next round and our next session we will so you guys they're going to watch though uh, you guys have a lovely lovely Thank time you. everyone's wishing you a lovely time i'm wishing you a lovely time uh, take her away while she's doing so fantastically brilliantly thank you both thank lovely, you. lovely lovely you, you lovely are Lauren. superstars enjoy your holiday Dotty. and i'll see you guys soon i'm going to head back over here Dotty. you take her out she's like i like that that was quite Come fun on. so guys if your recall is struggling don't just think about the recall part what is your dog doing in the gaps are they sniffing are they hunting are they looking for other dogs are they barking are they lunging are they reacting are they maybe just generally ignoring you are they maybe i don't know um losing themselves and kind of uh, head in the clouds or away with the fairies my mum would say what is your dog doing in between because it's not just about the recall it's what's happening in the gaps we're going to head back to the studio i'm going to see you up there because it's blooming cold down here What an amazing, amazing thing to learn. And how cool is Dot? And how cool is Sue and John? Absolutely love them both. Such amazing human beings. And really have got a dog that can be very difficult sometimes. Um, and they've worked really, really hard to, um, to really engage that dog with them and get a, a dog that wants to be around them. And that's what the games do for you guys. So don't forget that these games, it's all about your relationship with your dog and them wanting to be around you. So it's they're absolutely going to get you a recall because you've got a dog that wants to come back to you because they're excited about what you've got to give compared to the environment they were amazing Aww. they were amazing and literally what i love is so many people here are saying light bulb <clears throat> moments show oh, some yes. love for sue and john but also is that a light bulb moment for you what is happening in the gap yeah it's not just the recall mm -hmm. because the recall is important but what is happening in the gap so what happens between you calling the dog what is going on in that moment? Because I think that's really, really vital. We've never talked about that before. 
And for me, watching a dog like her, that's really, really, and Adeline's asking a great question, how are you gonna fill the gap? And this is really important, this is where games come in. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely where games come in. So for me, things like anchoring, targeting, getting the dog to be able to hop on different things, and I do this with you in the course, so I take you through this in the course, and this is something I do with Easy. Easy gets her first walk in a park, she's never been to a park before, because to be honest, we live in the middle of like a rural space, so we walk here. Uh, but I took her to a park just to show you exactly what I would do if I did go to a park and all the things I would do. And I think that's really cool. Now, you're going to head downstairs because I think we should Ready. race through some more training. I really yeah. do. I think we need to get, we need to get so more dogs excited. out. We need to get more dogs out. They are itching to get out. They are ready. They are steady. They are literally, I think we're going next to, oh, we got some tricks next. We got some tricks. Um, okay, so guys, if you've got questions, if you want to ask questions, now's a great time to ask some questions. So I'm really happy to answer any questions. Um, Okay, my question here uh, is, I've already done some of your courses. Will Total Recall be different to what I've already learned? Absolutely. It's a completely brand spanking new badge. It's just £47. It's half price right now. Jump in. What on earth are you waiting for? It's £47. You keep it for life. You keep the badge for life. If you want to take it up a notch, you've got literally every level you can take it to. So you can take it to the level where you get all your kits, all your kit comes, and your kit's going to come in the post, and we're sending them out literally. We sent a load out today, so they are on their way, and we're sending them all over. We had lots of US lots of Canada we had a couple go to New Zealand they've gone all over if you want the next level up the next level up's got all the kit so literally all the kit it's also got the treat pouch which is really cool and in addition to that you've got your coaching sessions. so you literally your one-to-one -one sessions with a trainer literally working through a training plan and helping and guiding you specifically so you can have off-leash freedom and your dogs get to have more fun and then if you really want some personalized coaching you've got sessions with me so I'm going to teach you I'm going to take you and lead you through the learning that's personal with me I want to work with you and I'm really excited to take it up a notch or 10 and work with you personally so that is the top level please do look through you've got your links there Catherine saying how can I order the recall so how can I order recall please can somebody put um please can somebody put that in the comments can please can someone pop that in the comments are we selling the leads anywhere else no the leads are not being sold anywhere else they are only on the website or through these recall programs they are not sold in any other public spaces uh, and someone's asking what is a badge this literally is your training package you keep for life so it's a training package you keep for life okay uh, next question i've got here is i've attended in-person dog training classes i've had private lessons already nothing works is this going to help me and my dog i absolutely have wholeheartedly watched dogs with mega recall struggles and watched them be turned around with games in less than probably 10 days so 10 days with games so i wholeheartedly believe and can tell you right now games work i love watching games i love seeing how they work for me it's mega so guys i know we're going to head downstairs because they're itching to train so they're itching to train please 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 in the comments can you make sure there is the link for total recall because i can't do that as well as talk to you and i'll be back to take some more questions in a minute so we'll take some more questions in a minute celebrations for all the people who've joined because there are mega 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 loads of you literally fiona jenny joe joseph uh, literally amelia adeline like loads of you so well done guys you're amazing for jumping in we're going to head downstairs for more dog training we've got kev we've got tia so we've got two students two dogs are coming in tia who are you bringing Marshall, Marshall Dalmatian. the Dalmatian. Kev, who are you bringing? I'm bringing River the Labradoodle. You're bringing River the Labradoodle. Yeah. Now, I know that River is very sniffy. She is. And Marshall is not really great with dogs and people. No, he's a bit scared. He's a bit scared with dogs and people. OK. And how about um, on sort of recall and walks? River can get really lost in her nose. So, yeah, yeah so um, it, it's Hard interesting. Yeah, so you're sometimes. fighting against the environment. Mm. And Marshall, has he got a recall? No, not really. He just runs around. He just runs around. around. He wants to do his own thing. He just yeah. likes running. Yeah. Super, super duper excited. So he yeah. likes the environment. Does he, he does, he doesn't really want to come to you? No, not really. Okay. And we've got, and we've got another dog in the arena with you. So yeah. we've got two dogs coming oh, in with two students. So much learning to happen. And we've got dogs that are, that are struggling with the environment. We've got dogs that are struggling with dogs. Now, I think this is really interesting because I know that Tia's dog struggles with people and dogs close. Mm -hmm. And I know that Kev's dog isn't really that. She's quite happy with dogs and she's mm -hmm. quite yep. cool and chilled. Yeah. And Kev's dog typically can be the sort of owner that has a dog that's like, 
they're friendly, just want to say hi. <laughs> and I'm not saying this is Kev, but I'm saying this type of dog who actually is okay with life and is okay yeah. with everyone else. Is that okay that because Kev's dog is okay with everyone, that Kev says, she's just going to be friendly and she's going to say hi. How does that make you feel if Kev's dog comes over to say hi? How does it make you feel? You can be really honest. No swear words. <laughs> <laughs> she don't wouldn't. Do it. Just don't do it. It just makes everyone feel stressed. It makes like, everyone feel it stressed. It might not be friendly or our dog isn't friendly. Your dog isn't friendly and it yeah. might not be friendly and that situation yeah. might not be good. And does it make you a little bit worried when that happens for your dog? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and is it something that is good for your dog if it happens? If, if someone's friendly dog like Kev's comes over to Marshall who's had a fairly bad experience, he's a rehomed dog, he's a rescue dog, you haven't had him that long. How long have you had him? Six, seven months. Yeah, so about yeah. six months. Uh, is it good for Marshall to have dogs run into him? No, because he's had so much training and he's doing so well and if anything like that, it would just mess him up. So it puts him back a little bit. Yeah, it puts and him for back. Kev's dog, when Marshall tells Kev's dog off or growls or does whatever Marshall's going to do, does that help Kev's dog? No. So it's not good for your dog? No, it's not great at all. I, River struggles with confidence anyway at the best of times, so she can come off cross like, I'm really friendly, and then she's like, oh, I'm in too deep. And if she gets nailed... <laughs> oh, I'm in too deep, you <laughs> <deep> mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> Critical error moment. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, I love that you two have it. And, guys, in the comments, if you've ever experienced this, please tell us. If you've ever experienced this, please tell us. Because, for me, he just wants to say hi isn't OK. And it's OK he's friendly isn't OK. So it absolutely needs to be, your dog needs to be under your control. And I really want to put the onus back on us. Whose responsibility is it that our dogs come back? Whose responsibility is it that our dogs have a recall? Mine. Ours. Yes, yeah. it's ours, yeah. right? It's yeah, ours. Absolutely. It's mine. It's ours. We need to own it. Who's up for owning it, guys? Pop own it in the comments. You guys, go get your dogs ready. What okay. I want to do, just to make sure we get it right, so you're going to do River in first, yep. and River's going to come straight in, and she's going to be on the table boundary. Okay. Tia, you're going to come in second and you're going to go in that area where Brave's poster is. Okay. So you can go in that area, not too close to it, probably halfway. Yeah. If it's going well, once Tia's over there, you're going to move River over here and you're going to keep the table always between them. You're going to do your tricks. So yeah. You're going to show off your tricks. Both of these guys love their tricks. Off you go. Okay. Off you Let's go. go. Okay, so uh, one thing, I love tricks. Yeah. I love tricks. And we're not here to really sort of tell people about tricks too no, much, but I wouldn't cool, mind if you grabbed in a minute the tricks book. Yeah. Because I do think tricks are mega. Yeah. And I do think everyone should know about tricks. So I don't know where you're going to go find one. Because there was one I've seen earlier, one. but a customer took it. So um, I stole as in it. Gonna, it. She did buy it. But I'm going to go and find one. Go and find one. Go okay. find one. I'm anyway, go find one. Uh, guys, it's really, really mega. These guys are getting their training treats ready. They're getting their treats, bags, and everything else. It's really important we ask some questions. So I've got a few questions here. I have got, does training work? So in the comments, yes or no? Does this does this training work? I'm going to say. Does this training work? They're behind the screen. They're going yes, yes. Does this training work? Does this training work? They're all saying yes. They're all saying yes. They're nodding. You're very reinforcing, ladies. I love you. Okay. Can training be fr fun? Is my next question. So can training be fun? Can training be fun? Yes. They're screaming at me from the from the aisles. Can training be fun? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. So you've got tricks book mega tricks books. The tricks book is actually a kilo's worth of book, but it's not a kilo's worth of book in a sad or bad way. No. There's a lot of really cool content. It's a wirebound book. This actual one, uh, this one's going to stay like this because it's not quite, but it, it is a wirebound this is, book. This is the first This is version. a close attempt that we like could the, find. The, the, <laughs> the closest attempt that we had. This is good. Uh, so it's a wirebound book. It's mega, massive, huge. Mm -hmm. If someone could pop a link in all of the comments, so whether that's the Facebook group, whether that is the Zoom, or whether that is the YouTube, please, 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 please pop a link into the Tricks book. The Tricks book is mega. We've shipped it all over the world. We've shipped it to Singapore, Bermuda, um, Australia, Canada. Uh, it's definitely all over the UK. If you come to the training center, you can buy it when you're here at the training center. It is a mega book. It's a mega book. It's massive. It's huge. But most of all, it's got nice diagrams in it. It's simple. It's easy to follow. It's an amazing opportunity for you and your dog. And I would say tricks are massive. Why do you do tricks? Um, I've got a dog that sometimes is a bit unsure about dogs in the distance. And so tricks really actually just get her on me because she loves them. So if I've got one where she jumps in my arms and for a small dog, really easy, just get her in my arms and I can just whisk her away. And she loves doing it so much that actually it gets her to come away from whatever it is that she's worried about or anything that she wants to chase because she's got more value for that than she has for going out there. Really cool. So we've got a couple of cool questions. 
questions. What's my favourite trick with Blink? My favourite trick with Blink has always been... Oh, I love it. We've got, we've got go the grab real that one. one. We've got go the real one. one. Pop that one down here as well. well. We'll keep both. We'll keep both. We've got a real one. We've got a real book. We've got, we've got our... We've it's got a real our, boy. Our, our cute... It's a, he's a real <laughs> boy. Gosh, she was fast at that. That was quick. High five to that. Okay, so it's a mega book. Like, look at the wire bound on it. Like, it's a massive wire bound. Guys, you can bring them in as soon as you're ready. We are ready for you. So you come in as soon as you're ready. So it is a mega book. It's a, it's, it's got loads of diagrams. It's nicely in colour. So it's very yeah. much in colour. There's lovely Kev actually As doing he's the about tricks. To come in. Kev's <laughs> here doing the tricks in the book. Yep. So he's doing the tricks in the book. We've got so many tricks. My favourite tricks with Blink, probably, you know what, I love her little sit pretty. I don't do a sit pretty with every dog, but with Blink, I think it really suits. And you can flick through it if you want. Mm. It's mega. Um, so over you go. Well done, Kev. Straight on the table. And then when you're ready, Marshall, you can come in and straight into doing a little bit of trick work with Marshall. You can keep flicking through on that one. Really nice. And over he comes. In he gets. Really nice. So it's mega. It's massive. It's huge. We'll talk about it a little bit more later. Oh, Pop brilliant. it down here. Amazing. OK, so some real dog training. Let's do this. Really nice. Super nice. And she can go back over here. Cool. So both of you doing going into your tricks. I love that. Really nice stuff. So I love that Tia's got into a nice bounce. I love that River's gone into toes. So she's got toes and she's moving. Now, both of these dogs, for different reasons, could go off and be excited by the dogs. River, in the sense that she might just be a little bit confident, and like you said, can rush in. You keep rewarding Kev, that's great. And actually, Marshall, just because he's a bit worried, and I know that sounds odd, but some dogs that are worried, he's got a pretend limp here. Go on, let's see your pretend limp. Let's see, there you go. He's got his pretend limp. Got his little limp. There you go, buddy. You're <laughs> such a good boy. And again for me, that's gorgeous. Yeah. He's got his little limp. Marshall. So I'm almost going to do it. Oh, he's so good. good. Okay, that's lovely. We're going to do his bounce in a minute. Don't do too many just yet. We're going to come back to his bounce. And then River, let's see a couple of yours. Bend. Nice. Oh, she's got a lovely bow. Really nice bow. She's going to curtsy for the camera. Get it. Nice. Lovely food control there from her. Really lovely food yeah. control. Nice. Let's do her toes again. Toes. Nice. nice. She's got a little toes. Face the cameras for us with your toes. There we go. She's got her toes. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, let's see you bounce. Let's see you bounce, mister. He's got his skipping rope trick. She's throwing food everywhere. There's a food firework going on. So guys, in the comments, tell us some of your favourite tricks. Let's do his limp again. They're loving his limp. So do your fake limp. Come on, Marshall. This is what he does when he really wants extra food. Really wants some extra food. I'm going to do a limp and then they're going to feed me more. Look at him. <laughs> uh, he loves his tricks. He really does, doesn't yeah. he? And haven't they made him more confident? Yeah, definitely. I He's mean... got his little sit pretty. <laughs> You're so cute. Go into your middle on the move. So let's see your middle Marshall. on the move. Good boy. Really nice. And then let's show us a little bit of his heel work as well, Tia. He can do a little bit of his heel work. Let's see what you got next. What have you got coming, Kev? Can we do a little we bit can of heel work for him for a minute, Tia? Lovely. Really nice. She can do a bit of movement. She can do a bit of spinning around. And River definitely is a very sniffy dog, right, Kev? Yeah. So has it helped with sniffing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. A lot of the uh, head up behaviour that we, we work with with tricks really helps with uh, with the sniffy dog. There it is. And so if you can get that head up behaviour, it's really, really nice because it's all focused on us. So yeah, and really nice. she's the sort of dog that you could lose to sniffs. Oh, yeah, 100%. And can go completely deaf, right? Yeah, those sniffing. fluffy ears get switched right off. Fluffy so. ears switched <laughs> yeah. off. Right, let's see some heel work from you, buddy. Let's have a look. Oh, he's got beautiful heel work. Come back this way, back towards me. He says, I've been learning some heel work and I don't do my limp, I do a trotting pony here. So trotting pony. Go on, let's see one more. Trotting pony. You're a good boy. Back this way. Oh, he's, he's a lovely trotting pony. Let's see one more sit pretty from him. Oh, he's good. And let's see his lefts and rights. So his lefts and rights. We both do some lefts and rights, guys. You can do some tall, some pretty, and some lefts and rights. And again, with tricks, you've got to pick what's appropriate to the dog. Nice. So you do some spins. You can do some spins as well, Kev, if you've got some spins. Really nice. nice. Um, and you've got to Spin. pick what's appropriate to the dog. So I wouldn't do every trick with every dog, and I think that's really important. So not every trick with every dog. A few more spins, Kev, and then maybe a stand tall. So I wouldn't necessarily do tall with him. I would do tall with her. Um, and that's it. Nice. A, few, a couple more each of you. Ready? Really Ready. cool. Ready? Spin. Really nice. Nice. 
Okay, oh, uh, I want to know okay. one trick you might want to teach in the near future. So what are you thinking for the near future, Kev? Uh, I think well, I really like pulling my socks off and I know it doesn't really practically lend itself to recall, but do you know what? It's fun It is recall because tricks. it's, you know what, how it's recall. So pulling your socks off was the one that Kev wanted to teach. And tell us in the comments, guys, which one you would like to teach. So I want to know what you would like to teach. So Kev's saying one of his, he wants to teach pull your socks off. For me, it's all about recall and retrieve, Kev. So it's all about recall and retrieve because actually a dog that pulls your socks off then tends to bring them back to you is what nice. you next teach so actually it all links into retrieve really well what would you like to teach next here skipping rope skipping rope <laughs> i knew it you could see go on do the bounce again Ready. Jump. It's, it's coming isn't it the skipping rope is coming yeah. so skipping rope for you pulling your socks off for you are you going to post po both post them in the community can we yes, see them absolutely yeah. yeah have you done toes here no. So that would be a nice one as well. Yeah. And I think that would be a really nice one for um, Harper. So yeah, I think for Harper, good. Really so good. more of that for Harper, okay. for, for sure. And for him, I love the idea of um, that type of exercise as well, because actually it's going to keep him safe in spaces. Yeah. So it helps him to keep set safe. Now, just because we didn't see too much of it, let's show us her stand up tall. Because for oh. her, I think this is quite appropriate. She's a little Labradoodle, uh, and I think it's an appropriate behaviour for her. There you go. Really nice. Nice balance, nice focus, good. really lovely. And I think it's a good behaviour for her, so I've got no problems with that one at all. Really good. Okay, I think we should do 30 seconds of catching, just because, why not? So why not do 30 seconds of catching? Ma Marshall's happy, <laughs> he loves dinner. Um, yeah, and I think River looks pretty happy about this too. So, Michelle, if you can count her, I'm going to count him, and we're going to tell a number at the end, and you're going to do the timers. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> One. Marshall. Are you? He's here. Marshall. Oh, rubbish it's throwing. Right, it's right, it's rubbish right, it's right. Keep going. I'm going to say it's a practice round. We're starting again. We're starting again. It was a practice round. It was a practice round. Right, I'm going to give you some tips when you're doing your throwing. So, number one with your throwing, don't have too much food in your hands. So don't have too much food in your hands. Number two with this one, still have your food prepared. So do have your food prepared. Number three, before you throw it, make sure you've got your dog's attention. Are we happy? Yep. We're going to go round two. Okay, three, two, no, no unfair advantage. I just thought we should do a round two. Three, two, one, go. I think I got 13. How many did you get, Michelle? Oh, we did a draw. I'm really happy we did a draw. I have to say, I'm really happy we did a draw. We're going to head back upstairs to the studio. Are we ready? You guys are amazing. Give them a round of applause and loads of love and tell us what tricks you want to teach. Head to the studio. What an amazing challenge. I can't believe it was a draw. I think we're going to have to do a retake of that at some point for sure. Can your dog catch? I'd love to know. Can your dog catch and there's something you might could teach your dog it'd be really cool to get a dog that really loves catching for reinforcement it's a fantastic fantastic game i think i'm going to go home and try this catch challenge for absolutely sure now guys if you are loving what you are seeing make sure you share so you can share the live share the youtube live on facebook on instagram wherever you want to share it set it to public and put hashtag total recall live an amazing an amazing amazing time with so many students so many students, it's an amazing learning. Tell me what your light bulb moments are from today. Tell me in the comments, what are your light bulb moments? My light bulb moment is my That's hands. Cold. <laughs> really cold. That is cold. My friend was saying, you must make sure you always look really warm. And I'm like, it's really hard when it's really cold. Uh, so Tia, I have to say, the second round, she really prepared that differently. And I think that's really yeah. important that when you're doing it, you prepare better. So yeah. really cool. Now, 
I know we're going to run potentially late. So I want to know in the mm -hmm. comments, do you want to run on time or late? You head down, go get ready I'm for ready. that next student for sure. Because we could still run on time. We've got two minutes. So would you like to be on time or late? On time or late? Let us know in the comments, on time or late. And I'm going to say that we really need to know whether you want on time or late. So on time or late, guys. On time or late, on time or late, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. And it's amazing to see you all in the Zoom. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Caroline. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Fiona. Hello, iPhone 7, Jane Ives. Hello, Mercedes, my lovely lady. Hello, Adeline. Hello, Sue, Catherine, Emma, Jane, Carol, Karen, Andrea, Laura, Joe, iPad, Geneva, uh, Louise, Karen's dog. Uh, Shell, lovely Pam, hello Alex, gorgeous Annette, Catherine, oh my god, Natalie, little, you gorgeous lady. So it's amazing to see all of you here. You guys are doing amazing and I'm so pleased you're here watching Jenny. Literally, Linda's only just made it. Linda, I understand you're in Australia, I get it. And at the same time, would you like to run late or would you like to run on time? Now, while they're downstairs, I've got a couple more questions for you. So a couple more questions for you. I'm trying to find them all. Um, okay, I've just welcomed home a puppy. He's a spaniel. I know they can hunt. Is to Total Recall something I could be doing with him now or is he too young? No, absolutely. Now is the best time to start. If you've got a 10 year old, we can help you. I know we're going to need to help you a bit more. If you've got a puppy, you're going to be absolutely in good company because this is a great space for a young dog to start. So this is a really cool space. Okay, next question that I've got. Okay, I've bought the first course, but I now want to level up and buy another level. So you want to buy two or three. Uh, that's absolutely fine. If you can't contact our team you need to go to absolutedogs.me forward slash help and they are going to help you upgrade it so you can help upgrade you can go from the 47 pound course right the way through the top they've all got discounts on them literally 50 percent discounts like it's insane on some of those so 50 percent discounts and some of the programs i work with you one-to-one -one and i work with you and i coach you other programs you've got all of the course content online and you can work completely independently so you get to choose your course uh, all you need to do to get your course is go to I can't actually remember but it's going to be on the screen it's going to be on the screen so all you need to do is go to absolutedogs.me forward slash total recall and you can get your course today the other thing is uh, someone asked earlier when do you get the course you get the course immediately and we've got lots of learning being added to it that's not yet there, yet there. we've added all of what we think you need right now and we've got some extra bits and we don't want to overwhelm you so you're going to get drip fed a few more extra bits that are going to come to this course Another question is how long do you get to keep the course? You get to keep the course for life. It's your course for life. So you get to keep the course for life. Now, we're ready to head downstairs. We've got lovely Lisa. Now, lovely Lisa had a tough session with us yesterday. Her dog, I said a couple of times, he's a lot of dog. And if you feel some days a bit outdogged, tell us in the comments. So tell us in the comments if you feel a bit outdogged. I want to know. Now, I've also got a prize to give. I've got a prize to give. And you need to tell me in the comments you have shared. I need to know you have shared. I've just seen a heck of a lot of hearts. They're very, very colourful and they said they shared. It's Kathleen Valentine and you are going to win a mini holiday. You're going to win a mini holiday. Kathleen Valentine, I hope you're on my screen somewhere. I saw you. I saw a load of hearts. Sue and Quincy's like, ah! So give her a load of love. Uh, Kathleen Valentine gets to win a mini, mini holiday. You get to win a three-day holiday. Kathleen's over. I can see her. She's there. She's looking really happy. I just saw a load of coloured hearts. It got my attention. Then it said shared above it. And there's, I love, someone had wine glasses that just went past me as well. That looked pretty darn cool. Uh, so I love, 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 love that Kathleen Valentine she's so excited she wants to cry i can see her little face she looks so excited anyway uh, please keep sharing when i come back i am going to give another mini breakaway i'm going to give another mini breakaway it's dog training mini break so make sure you've shared we are going to check you've shared as well so please make sure you've shared anyway we've got more dog training you guys are up for running late let's head to the dog training we've got lisa we've got loki coming yes we have and you had a tough day <laughs> yesterday yeah, he He's was he was hard work. He sort of lost his head a little bit. Yeah, and he can be a, he can be a and difficult dog. Yeah, it's he just one of those dog. things, you know. It's like you know he can do it. He can do it at home. He can do it in the garden. He can do it on the beach. Yeah. But here was a totally new environment. And what was life like though a year ago before you found Absolute Dogs and Games? Because worse than worse than right? it was in here. So actually, <laughs> we've got some really cool improvement. Absolutely. From what you've learned yes. already in his games, are you finding that the games are bringing him? He's more with you. Yes, very much yeah. so. And what was he like yeah. before? Was he interested in you at all? He was. He yeah. It was almost like I didn't exist really. Yeah. Just like. Just like. Who are you, lady? <laughs> Bye now. Who are you? And I'd like to just very quickly point out 
amazing leggings because there's poor you might not be able to see them from here there's poor prints all over them and they're wonderfully colorful <laughs> and they match her socks which i absolutely <laughs> love so looking can be difficult and i don't know what lauren's on about either it's not cold down here i don't know not what cold. Oh, yes. about. Sum it out. Oh <laughs> Sum it out. Get I want back this upstairs. Coat. I want <laughs> Off you Honestly. go. Off you go. <laughs> I right. need this so coat. <laughs> Loki is coming out. Now, yesterday, yes. I know that you thought that was quite a tough session in the sense that yeah. he challenges you. Yes, he what does. What sort of challenges do you have on a daily basis? Um, he barks for attention at me. Like you said yesterday, he's very pushy. Sort of like, I want to do it. I want to do it now. Who like, else has got a dog like that? Who else has got a dog that's pushy, that wants to do it now, that wants to get on with it, that's hard work? Tell us if you've got a dog like that. Let us know. Yeah. Uh, and so have you found him easy as... Um, uh, it is easy to live with and own, really. Be honest. You don't have to say yes, he is now because you've trained Sometimes him. How easy... Ha have you torn your a hair lot, a little? Yeah, I'm, I've had days where I'm like, I am taking you to the dog's trust. <laughs> and there, there were days. And it, you... But He's I haven't had, I've, I've not had one of those for like a long time. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. High five for so, that. Yeah. High five for that. And guys, please show Lisa some love. She's showing some huge vulnerability being here. <laughs> so show us some love because it's a mega deal being here and, and talking about this. I think this is really important uh, and really do, um, it, it, it is key. Now, I'm going to give you a different plan when you come in today. Okay. You're going to come straight in and you're going to go to the table. Okay. And you're going to be feeding him on the table. If yep. you go to mouse, you're going to mouse. Okay. If you can't mouse, then you're just going to feed him for being there. Okay. Yeah. You're yep. going to go for either of those. Yeah. Go and get him ready. No worries. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, Lisa. <laughs> so, guys, I've got a couple of questions for you, and it is, uh, whose responsibility is your dog? That's my first question for you. I'm going to grab a couple of these because I've got a few questions, and I go out of sight when I do this, so I'm just quickly getting my questions up. So, whose responsibility is your dog? I want to know in the comments, whose responsibility is your dog? Please tell me in the comments, whose responsibility is your dog? Is it my responsibility? Is it your dog trainer's responsibility? Is it your responsibility? Tell me in the comments, whose responsibility is your dog? That's really, really important. I would like to know whose responsibility is your dog um have you ever heard my next question is have you ever heard don't worry he's friendly out on a walk so tell me have you ever heard that and when you hear that how does it make you feel tell me in the comments how does it make you feel how does it make you feel okay next question is training hard work right now is training hard work right now tell me in the comments is training hard work right now tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me and I also want to know, is training boring? Is training boring? Please tell me in the comments, is training boring for you right now? Is training boring for you right now? Because what I'm here to tell you is that training is a heck of a lot of fun and I'm here to help show you how much fun it is. If someone can share the link to our Total Recall program, I want to take you through it. There's so much fun to be had. Whose responsibility is your dog? Well, our dogs are our own responsibility and it's really important, it's vitally important that we get hold of our recall because our dogs are our responsibility. Don't worry, he's friendly. Yes, I've heard it. And whenever I hear it from anyone and their dog, I worry. And I think to myself, that dog is under no control and that dog is in fact out of control and that is dangerous. And I don't want to see that. And then is training hard work? Absolutely not. When you've got the support of trainers like us who are going to take you through this at every step of the way. And that is exactly what we want to do with Total Recall and all of our training programs here at Absolute Dogs. Whether it is the tricks book that is fully comprehensive, wire bound, mega huge, pop the link in the comments because I want you to get a hold of one of those. Or whether it's the Total Recall program, I know that we're here to look after you. I know that we've got some really cool training for you and I'm excited. So come on in, Loki. I think he's ready. He's on his way. He's coming over. Okay, we're going to go straight to that table for me. So straight to the table. Try and keep the line as loose as you can and go straight to the table, even if you jog over there. So even if you jog over there, that's fine. Keep it nice and loose if you can. That's cool. Still got my paper with me. Good. And I'll feed him. And feed him just for being there. That's really lovely. Feed him for being there. Now, I love these tables because they kind of let him get anchored straight away. So keep yeah. feeding and feed to the table if you can, rather than his mouth. And the reason I'm going to feed to the table rather than his mouth, and this is important, is because he's quite a get on with it, hurry up, move on, Lisa, let's go type dog. Yeah. The table actually takes the focus off you a bit. And I know this sounds crazy, but with him, I don't want too much focus on me all the time. I actually think sometimes what I need is him to slow down yeah. and him to not be so in a rush with everything. And that's typical of his breed. They are in a hurry and they are in a rush. So I actually want to slow him down. That's not every dog, that's him. Nice, so you're going to cage it and you're going to take one piece at a time. Now, how is this helping with Lisa's recall? And you carry on playing this game, Lisa, yeah. this is great. 
this is really nice and keep taking that food back into him i have to say he's got one mega hairdo isn't he <laughs> look at it i mean <laughs> literally amazing and take the food into him and when you take the food into him when you go to take it he goes to mug you yeah pop the food back okay yeah so when he goes to mug you at all you're going to pop the food so like there that. just that's it and then just cover it but be clear about you covering it because he thought he just missed yeah. it he didn't miss it you took it away um and i think that we kind of want to teach him that that actually and he's still looking for it at the moment because he didn't quite realize it so do you see he's still like where's it gone uncover oh boy uncover and if he does come forward too far to mug you you put it back in the pile but you put it very clearly back in the yeah. pile and i'll take it towards him again and when you take it towards him, take it right in, sort of deep into where the pink and the blue line match there, but like under his chin, that's yeah. nice. And you're very quickly going to be a bit more clean on your mechanics. It's going to be in and out, so it's not going to be hanging around. Yeah. And you can not cover it there, leave it uncovered all the time and put the food down again. Put the food down. Fiddle around with it a bit. So you fiddle with the food. And I'd like to build up to the point that you really can get this like right on his toes and sort of yeah. right around. Not necessarily today, but generally. And guys, if you play this game and you love this game, tell us in the comments. If you know the name of this game, tell us in the comments. And if you've shared, tell us that in the comments too, because I'd like to see if you have shared. I'd like oh to see really? if you have shared, because if you have shared, there might be a chance of a winner. Okay, that's lovely. It's really nice. I love it using chicken as well with him. I think that's a good choice of reward. Really good choice. He's and then take it back into him again. Really nice. Now, how is this helping with our recall? Let's keep playing. For me, this is a dog who can start to make good choices. So what we're teaching him to do is make good choices. That was lovely timing on your part, really lovely timing. So nice, feed right back, right back, nice. And it teaches him when he's got a choice to, to make, right back in, that's lovely. Maybe it is, I don't know, chase the cow or um, look up and connect with you. Or maybe it's uh, chase the cow or stop himself. And actually, these are the moments where your dog starts to make good choices. Maybe it's pull on lead or walk at heel. Um, maybe it's yank on lead or maybe just sort of stay in rough proximity and take back in again and keep taking back in. You're either taking in or you're fiddling, but don't stay for too long doing okay. nothing. Um, and if you have shared, guys, I want to know that you've shared. So do tell us you've shared if you shared. Now, what I really love watching this, Lisa, and I really do love watching this, is he's moving further away from you. Take yes. a piece in for him, that's lovely, and then put a few more out. A few more out. And now you're going to really play and move all of these around. So you're going to move everything here around. And is this his dinner? Yeah. So he's ditched it's the just, bowl? He's totally ditched the bowl. He doesn't have any food in a bowl at all. Amazing. Take straight back to him. Lovely. And another piece back to him. Okay. And if he's, if he's out and he's got a recall, what's one of his recall issues? Um, sometimes he just, if there's something else in the environment, nice like, back in um, like another dog or, or even just people, he just wants to say hello to everybody. He thinks exactly. everything is his... Business, his, his friends. Yeah, absolutely. He wants to be friendly to everyone. And do all dogs like him? No. No, because, because, because he's in their face. Yeah, <laughs> so he can irritate other dogs. Let us know in the comments if dogs like Loki can upset your dog. And also let us know in the comments if you have a dog like Loki. So my dog Mango, she is a little bit like Loki. So Mango, um, she can be very like Loki. Whereas Easy would hate a dog like Loki. Yeah, and so I yeah. own both. Yeah. And I understand it's that hard. Take the food straight in because what you don't want to do is let him be in that situation. So this game is going to start to teach him and it's teaching him away from the scenario how to behave in the scenario. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And what you've got to do is keep leveling this game up. Yeah. So you've got to play this in the car park. You've got yes. to play this in the back of your vehicle. You've yep. got to play this in all new environments. Put another handful of food down. This is really lovely. Now stand up and play it. So I want you to stand up and I want you to keep playing. It's like we're doing yoga. <laughs> stand up, <laughs> kneel down, like cross legs. <laughs> and I want you to try and stay in like quite a relaxed position. Like you're not going to actually... So be ready for him to come forward on that. And now I want you to start to place like over here to the side sometimes. So he's got to almost have the chance to reposition. That's nice. Without moving forwards. That's nice. And you can take it over to him. You can have it. Good boy. And don't wait to guard it. So you're only okay. going to put your hand on it when you're actually... And stand up straight. So stand up straight and re-pouch so you can re-lower it back in. It, I don't know if it's chilly or it's exciting. It's, it's proper exciting. Both. It's exciting. <laughs> That's so like take it back in. Seriously nice. exciting. Really nice. And then to the other side. Just to point it out to yeah. him. Nice. And we want to see that he can reorient each time. And then he still manages to keep his self-control. This is a 100% better session than yesterday, though, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Does it feel nicer? Yeah, totally. Yeah, so got a lot more <laughs> yeah. success. Yesterday was difficult. And take right back into him. And you can go either side. Yeah. You can go straight into his legs. Okay. Now, guys, he's leaving chicken here. He's leaving high-value homemade treats. Yeah. Who is impressed with what Lisa's got here? Because this is amazing. And he's a young dog, and he's not the most straightforward good boy. <laughs> he's I'm so excited. Keep taking the food inside <laughs> side. 
side to side. This is amazing. I'm really happy with where he is. We're going to leave it there. We're going to head back up to the studio. If the studio is ready, we're going to head back up to the studio. I'm really happy. We're going to sum that up upstairs. Off amazing. Absolutely amazing. And what a, an incredibly calm dog in that moment. I mean, really, we know that Loki is a really difficult dog um, and had a hard time yesterday coming down in arousal, really, just like, ah. And so to see him like that, just incredible. All the love to Lisa for putting herself out there again. And so guys, give her love. Lots of love in the comments. All the love for Lisa in the comments because it's really difficult to put yourself out there when you know that you've got a dog that is difficult and, it's, and is, you know, it can be really hard. It can be really embarrassing. It can be demoralizing. It can really get you down. And you guys might know what that feels like for you out and about when it might be that your dog's running off into the distance, chasing other dogs, chasing squirrels. That might be your embarrassment in that moment. I think what you're about. It's not cold, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who's impressed with Loki? Because I was really impressed compared to yesterday's yeah. session. That was a big, big Incredible. improvement, like huge improvement. And I know also Lisa was nervous yeah. and I know she wanted to show it going really well, but mm -hmm. actually sometimes it doesn't go very well. No. And sometimes dog training sucks. And sometimes, <laughs> and I said that, and sometimes you feel like mm. a complete idiot. And sometimes yeah. you're all like fingers and thumbs and actually it's just not going well. And so tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us if that is you. Uh, and so tell us if you've been there. I've definitely been there where dog training sucks. Now I know we've got some people to celebrate. Kev, can we have the people to celebrate back up please? Because I'd love to celebrate the people. I've got people to celebrate. So many. And I've not been doing enough celebration. Now, who would like some more dog training? Because we could do, I've got a few things we could do if we wanted to. Yeah. We could do uh, easy recalling off food. Yep. She may not do it. Maybe. She hasn't had all her dinner today. So <laughs> we could do easy recalling our food. I need to know that you want it though, guys. I really need to know you want it. I need to know that you're sharing. I need to know that you're loving it. I need to know that you want it. I need to have a lot of love, a lot of literally go crazy. And I'm on Facebook right now because my phone is on Facebook. So that's the comments I'm seeing. So please, please, please make sure that you let me know. Uh, while I'm wa watching that, and I am going to come with another prize for sharing. We've got loads of celebrations for Jenny. We've got Linda. We've got Sarah and Tracy. We've got Holly. We've got Holly Eversden. We've got David Edge. We've got Morag, Morag Wagner. We've got Victoria. We've got Terry. We've got Lynn. We've got Bridget. We've got Lynette. We've got Gary. We've got Gita. We've got Marie. We've got Susan. We've got Sue. We've got Jennifer. We've got Gerda. We've got Ingrid. We've got Joe. Wow. We've got Shelley. Oh my God, it's a mega list. It's a mega list. Oh There's my God, more. it's turned around. There's more. It's turned around. More. We've got Leanne. We've got Helen. We've got Deborah. Price, we've got Anne, we've got Samantha. We're going to be using Easy in about three minutes just for awareness. So <laughs> I think that what we really, really, really need to do is we need to say, Wow, 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 uh, and wow. Uh, what level are you hopping in at, guys? We'd love to support you, we'd love to see every stage and every step of your journey. And if you haven't already, say hi to us in the community space, you've got access to the community space. Uh, if we can share the link for everyone to jump in, it's absolutedogs.me forward slash total recall. Mm -hmm. And in the comments, what must everyone put to be able to get the resources? So if you're on Facebook, you need to put the comment master, they're down here. I'm looking, and I'm if you are in Zoom or YouTube, then or anywhere else, then it's absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master. So Facebook, put master in the comments. It's a link if you're in Zoom or YouTube, absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master and if you look in the comments then people will be putting the links in there so you can get them in the comments there if You'll you've got them. your badge guys let us know in the comments mercedes said she's got hers adeline says i just love this sort of weekend these are all of your resources that you're getting carol says it's a brilliant brilliant help stacy said she's got a badge uh, and guys if you shared tell us because i'd love to give away another mega prize or three so i'm ready to <laughs> give away more prizes nilla's got her badge all Natalie of them shared it literally shell got her badge today uh, helen's getting it for a birthday oh lovely helen um and i love that you guys are loving it so who would like to see some more dog training because i think it is a really cool space a really cool opportunity to do that and i think it is mega that we do and i also think that it's late so you yeah, guys are going to need sure to tell us that you want it to go late i do mean you really want it to go late do you really want it to go late? Tell us that you want it to go late. I mean, we're already late. late as well. So, you know, really I'm not sure late. they want to go later, really. So I mean, we'd need like to know. Would you like to see Easy call off food? Would you like to see her call off a scatter? Would you like to see her call off a food bowl? Would you like to see her call off Sam feeding her? Tell us which one <laughs> you want. So which one? Scatter, a food bowl. In fact, do you want to go and get ready? We need a food bowl. Yep. 
We need you to have some food on you. Right. A scatter. Yeah, you can take that with you. Yep. Um, I'll bring easy. Um, maybe, maybe a long line. We should have a long line. And maybe a dinosaur. Or, or, or a distraction. <laughs> Any distraction. Any distraction. See who's down there. See whether there's Let's a chicken or a cow or... I, th I, I think I saw some earlier. Yeah, I, I, I think it's weird, but they are in Encampton right now and they have been spotted. <laughs> Rare spotted gorilla has been spotted. Okay, so guys, absolutely happy to have any questions. If you've got any questions, I've got some more questions from earlier. I love that you guys are all joining. I love that you're all here. I love that you're doing all this great stuff that you're doing. Please keep sharing. Please stay active. I can see you on here. And if you've got questions, please ask us. It thinks I want to report a technical problem by shaking my phone. No, I don't. I really don't. I just want to see the comments. Okay, great question here. My dog chased a duck into the estuary the other day, and now I don't have any confidence in letting off lead ever again. Is this course going to help me and my dog? Hell yes. This course is going to give you confidence. We're going to go through so many different stages. In fact, you know what? While I head downstairs, can we play the video? Are we in a position to play the video? I'm going to head downstairs with Easy. This is going to get exciting because we're going to do some really fun stuff. What I'm going to do though, while we head downstairs, and I was told I wasn't allowed to show it twice, but I'm going to show it twice. You guys can have a quick look inside the course. I'm going to head downstairs with Easy. And by the time I get downstairs, we're going to do some dog training and we're going to see how it goes. I'm slightly scared. What's the difference between the recall badges? Katie, this is our brand new recall badge. It's completely brand new. No one's ever seen it before. And this one really goes through step by step, stage by stage, game by game. And we level up and it's very progressive. You're going to start with like the recall rookie and you're going to move up to literally the guru of the recall. So you're going to move through every stage. There's six stages. We take you out and about. We show you in different spaces, loads of different resources. And there's a cool, cool, learning badge coming to this too so we're adding to it each and every day as we speak also some challenges i'm going to try another challenge when i'm downstairs so let's see how that goes anyway i'm going to head downstairs if you guys are up for staying late please tell us you're up for staying late i need to see you keep you want to be here we're heading downstairs we're going to head to a video it's going to be literally a minute or two and we're going to be live training are you ready let's go Okay, so here we are. You're going to look through your badges and we're going into Total Recall and it's brand new. And so when you come in here, we've got some of your downloads from our resources to our training trackers, to our calendars, journals and trackers. Uh, really exciting. You can print some of these off and then we're going to look through our levels. We've got our Recall Rookie. We've got our Comeback Cadet. We've got our Chief Recall Commander. And for each session, you really can take it to Grand Guru of the Recalls. There are six of these and that's pretty darn cool. Now, as we move through the courses, there are games at each and every stage. That was a great photo there, wasn't it? And um, really what I love is we've gamified this in a fun way for you, but we've also given some really great clear instructions. It's very simple you mark each lesson as complete and that allows you to then progress to your next levels and you're going to progress at each and every stage i'm going to give you a little bit of theory but majority really is dog training and we've tried really hard to keep that theory super short so that majority is hands-on dog training and that's where i think you need the skills and that's where i see the gaps so we're trying to bridge that gap I work with multiple breeds. We have lots of students on board. We have our own dogs. We have other people's dogs. We have dogs that have not had any training. And what I really like is you're going to see some dogs who've really done very little. This is a little dog who is actually just staying on a holiday with this student. And so she's not even her dog. What I loved is we take dogs that have never played games before. And I really, really enjoyed teaching dogs who've just not seen it. Now, as we progress, it gets pretty exciting. And you really start to see those real life results. We start to play games in action out and about in different spaces and we're going to show you real life scenarios where dogs really do struggle to keep their impulses at the same time some of our solutions in the harder spaces and you are going to see this on tour it's not just in artificial scenarios I think that's really cool too and equally like I said different ages different stages different breeds different motivations dogs who may be sometimes quicker dogs who may be a little bit steadier dogs who are a little bit more nervous some dogs on lead some dogs off lead you really are going to see a variety and array of breeds and definitely not one size fits all. Now, like I said, as we're moving through this, you've got the games in action and you've got the individual games as we go through. Everything is completely brand new filming. So there's nothing in here that has been reused from any other course. And I think that's a really exciting space to be. 
okay, it is chaos in here. I'm not sure who has turned up, but they're dancing the funky chicken. They literally have gone insane. They are crazy. They're crazy. Who knows who these guys are? Where on earth did they come from? And can we handle the distractions? In the they are going nuts. They're going nuts. Okay, what do you think about the distractions? Because I think the distractions, I mean, life does get a bit like this, right? Life does get a little bit funky, a little bit out there, a little bit different. Guys, oh my God, they're now doing some dancing. They've got line dancing going on. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what I she think thinks. I think it's Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Look at how she thinks this is normal. She just wants to come to you. Do you see how normal this yeah, is for her? she's like, I don't know, whatever. Okay, guys, you are amazing. Thank you so much. You're off for a minute. Goodbye, distractions. Distractions are gone. We may need you later. Don't get changed yet. <laughs> The funky chicken out of here. The funky chickening out of here. Okay, we may need you in a minute, so don't go too far. Now, I've got a couple of questions. Who struggles with bridging the gap? So who struggles with bridging the gap? Because they're still rustling away. Listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> because bridging the gap is really hard for so many people. When I say bridging the gap, who, go, who, who knows that they can be on lead, mm -hmm. but they can't get them off lead, or they can have them on a line, but they struggle to have them off a line, or maybe they struggle with real life recall. So mm -hmm. tell us in the comments if you struggle with bridging the gap, if you struggle with that gap. And my next question is, what do you do when it doesn't work? Because I think this is really important. What do you do when it doesn't work? And I think we need to know what do you do when yeah. your recall fails? Definitely. Because I'm going to give you some ideas here as well. And if you've ever found yourself saying, he just wants to say hi, or my dog's friendly, don't worry, you need to be here. You need to be here because our dogs are our responsibility. So we've got a couple of games to play, Sam. Let's head back this way. The first one we're going to do... And I've got toys and I've got food. And I think we should show that she really wants food. In fact, I'm going to let you do this. Watch your hands. So you're going <laughs> to give her a handful of food. So you can just give not a massive handful because she's going to eat a lot in a minute. So give her a handful of food. Pop the food down. On the floor? On, on your, in your hand. In and tell hand. everybody how much she wants it. <laughs> <laughs> she did that knowing what was going to happen. <laughs> Is she a bit greedy? She's really greedy. Is she greedy? My, fin my fingers bit. felt how greedy she was. <laughs> Is it cold? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Absolutely your not. Your fingers felt how greedy she was. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do you're going to sit down yep. or kneel down and you're going to just let her line go so you don't need to worry about the line but you're just going to be gently feeding her from the bowl now if when i call her she doesn't come back yeah you're just going to cover the bowl and she has no food issues and she has no resourcey issues she's not resourcey and i'm feeding her from her hands or from the bowl i think from your hand at the moment so from you're going to feed from your hand yep. because i think we are going to give her the bowl later but not yet okay so we're going to try we're going <coughs> to work it up so feed her feed her feed her now i know her hierarchy of reinforcement you're going to give a good good few like keep keep yep. going a few of them not like in handfuls, but just one at a time. Um, I know a hierarchy of reinforcement, and she likes food, and you can see she's greedy, like she's greedy, but I know that she really likes this. So this is hopefully better. Now, if she doesn't come, you're going to stop feeding her. If she really doesn't come, you're going to cage the bowl. Yep. Yeah? So I'm going to take a bit of distance. Ease. Yes, good girl. Super girl. <laughs> really fast. good. Now, did you see the type of turn, Sam? That was insanely fast. And there wasn't even like a, a hesitation. There wasn't even a second thought. She was gone. She was like, nah, this is better. See you later. And that was cool, right? Yeah, that was really cool. Right, this time we're gonna do it and make it a bit harder. Okay. So you're gonna be feeding her. Mm -hmm. And then as I get away, you're gonna scatter a good few handfuls. Okay. So you're gonna scatter a good few hang handfuls around. Yeah. Yeah, so a good few handfuls. And there'll be lots on the floor. Okay. If she doesn't come back, I'm gonna take her line and I'm gonna take her away. Okay. Because I can't really stop her getting it all. Yeah. But she will continue to eat. Yeah. So let's see what we've got now. Let's yeah, do so it. feed her and keep feeding her because I'm going to need to get some distance and I don't want her to think this is a little trick game so I'm going to get some gentle distance away from her I'm going to keep feeding right now you're going to go good scatter be generous good scatter good scatter okay stop now <laughs> it's getting a bit I'm ridiculous. generous I'm generous He's yes good girl super dog super dog that was really nice switch yeah good girl that was clever that was clever switch yeah good girl switch good girl and notice the experience she's had here switch yes if you want this with your dog i absolutely want to work with you one-to-one -one. i want to work with you i'm excited at whatever level you can work with us thank you all of the total recall levels we are going to cover so much fun we're going to have so many challenges i can't wait to help you can get it so we're going to have all of that so we're going to let her eat that now she gets to have that. Mm -hmm. How was that recall for you? Just as fast. Like, literally, again, no hesitation. To begin with, she was like, oh, yeah, it's raining food. And then she was like, oh, hang on, this is way cooler. 
Very, so very cool. We're going to try food bowl. We're going to try the whole food bowl. I've actually never bowl. tried that. Okay. So I've never tried it. She's really greedy. Yeah. Um, and I know she's greedy. So you're going to feed her, feed her, feed her, and then you're going to put the food bowl down yeah. when I'm a bit further away. So you're going to feed her, feed her, feed her from the hand, and then you're going to put the food bowl down, mm -hmm. and then I'll call her the food bowl down. If she doesn't come, she's not resourcey, mm -hmm. so you can cage it, yeah. or you can put your foot on it. This bowl, because it's a, a flippy bowl, you're going to put your hand on it, but yeah. she is not resourcey, and okay. I've never in her whole life seen her be resourcey. Uh, so you can have a go. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, so ease. feeding. Ease. Ease. Yeah. And you're going to keep that feeding. Was my finger. That was my finger. And it's really important that we don't let her think she's just being like tricked out here. We do want her to have a good deal. So she's having a good deal with that food. And then Sam is going to put the food bowl on the floor. Ease! <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready? She's still choking with eating. She's like throwing kibble <laughs> around. So I love that because your timing, Sam, was like, do I put my hand on? Get it, you're a good girl, switch. Good girl. Do I put my food hand on or do I not put my hand on? And you could see she really did want it to the she point that she's still it. like scattering kibble around here yeah. because she couldn't decide whether she was gonna come or not. And that's okay, switch. It shows you a level up as to where you are, switch. Good girl. <laughs> Um, you can have that for a minute um, because I don't want her. She's literally still eating. <laughs> Bless her. She was like <laughs> eating and running. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. And I think it's really important that we say that is the level of pushy recall. Mm -hmm. And every dog's got its level of challenge. Yeah. So every dog's got a level of challenge. And that's hard, right? That's hard. That's really difficult. Thank you. Good girl. Two, one. Get it. Nice switch. Nice make it a great deal like you can see how it's a great deal for her and if she really didn't come off that bowl you've either got you on your hand if i know they're not resourcey or the easy thing that i can do is just actually take the line so you can take the line and you can move them away because they're on a line now of course this is a proof this is a test mm -hmm. this is a challenge she's now found the rest of the food that she dropped <laughs> um, and i think it's important to acknowledge here that easy is at a skill level that's pretty high mm -hmm. right sam and yeah. so her skill level i'm gonna let her finish those her skill level is pretty high very and high we're asking a lot there and we still saw her say maybe not yeah yeah so you still saw her say maybe not put the ball on the floor now and then cage it cage it so these are the sorts of things and the ball down pick it up again Cage the bowl now before you put it down, but now put it down, but keep it caged and then uncage. And the sort of games that I'll play, ease, nice, are games like that. So you can see how you'd build that early stage back in again. Let's go again. Thank you. Nice, that was a good <laughs> choice. Thank you. Down, get it. Ease. Oh, good girl. That was a good get it. Because you could see she yeah. was like, which bowl which do I one? get in the toy? Yeah. Or that one? Nice. Thank you. Down. Ease. Good girl. Super. Thank you. Because people ask, how can you get them around food? And I love that Sam puts her elbow out. <laughs> like, what do I do here? People ask, how do you do this? Like, how do you get them to work around food on the floor? Yeah. Uh, cover. Just cover. And you can see that she say, then takes a step back. Mm -hmm. And if I walk this way, yeah. she should come with, with me you. without me asking too much. Mm -hmm. It might be middle. Mm -hmm. And then I might say, get it, down, get it. Good girl, let her have it. Good girl. And then when I want her to leave it, ease. Good girl. I might just back her up with a line <laughs> there because I didn't want to call her off too quick for food because she's quick to carry on eating. Mm -hmm. So I actually don't want to, I know it's a fun <laughs> game, isn't it? You know when you huff, you're so excited about your food. And I think it's cool to see the levels you can take it to. It's asking a lot of her, mm -hmm. but it's really cool. Right, once more, you're going to have a bowl in the air. Bowl in the air. You get those, let her have them. Good yep. girl, you can have them. Good girl. You can have it. Ease, get this one here. Good girl. Don't cover it unless she tries to take it this time. Okay. So you're only going to cover it if she tries to take it. So Ease, come here. One more. Put it down. Nice. Down. Very nice. Ease. Super girl, get it, get it, get it. Switch, get it, get it, get it. Good girl, switch, good girl. And I think that's probably enough for her in terms of challenging her up. However, it wouldn't be fun <laughs> to end the day without any distractions. So I think we do a recall through our distractions. Sure. And then I think our distractions get to dance the fuck funky chicken. I've had to say something very <laughs> <laughs> Dance the funky chicken until we head upstairs. By the hot time we head upstairs, they'll be warm and we'll be back up to answer any of your questions. <laughs> okay, so distractions, on you come, in you come. Let's have you.
We're going to do a recall, Sam. If you hold her, you yeah. hold her. Ready? You're going to hold her. She's staying there. Now, in you come, guys. You keep dancing. Keep all your energy all the way around. The it's dancing, so the so funky loud. chicken. OK, we're going to play statues now. <laughs> Good statues. OK, three, two, one. Ease. <laughs> run into you. I was going to run around you. That was very scary. I forgot you're a person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for a minute you were a barrel. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. We're going to do some zooms. We're going to do zoom round you. 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 And going to do zoom round you. We're going to do zoom round you. And that is what we think of distractions. <laughs> so you guys are going to dance. You're going to dance a lot until we get upstairs. Keep dancing. Keep dancing, we'll see you up there. I actually forgot. I just have a drink. <laughs> I actually forgot that, that they were real people. Yeah. And I ran into her. <laughs> like, like she was a barrel. Because <laughs> that's what I train on barrels. And then my head forgot for a split second. It was very funny. I mean, they were good statues. I can see they why. Were very, now, they were having good having a mega drink. Yes. I'm puffing. Um, what do you think of that in terms of distraction training? Like, how hard did we make that really? Really, really hard. And is I mean, that for really proof? No, not right now. Not right now. Your dog might not be at this stage right now. We really want to show you where this can go because you really can proof this to an amazing level of difficulty with your dog. And these games are going to get you there. And who's having fun? Who's having fun? I mean, Easy's absolutely shattered. Um, she's had a lot of food. She's shattered. <laughs> and she has trained a bit today as well. So she's had mm. a, bu a busy day. You can go to your bed. She's had a busy day. And tell us, tell us, tell us in the comments if you've had fun. Now, we can't wait. We've got more lined up for you. If there's something specific you want, we're here to help. I don't know if there's anyone else I can share and congratulate. I think there are lots of people. I just don't know if they've written them down in time. Uh, but I'd love to congratulate everyone who's jumped in. I'm really excited personally to get the privilege of working with you. Sam the same. We Amazing. love working with our students. And we're having so much fun with you. We are having so much fun. So thank you so much for joining us. We have got more. This is not the end. We've got more fun to come. And if there's something specific you want, please, please ask. Keep sharing. In fact, maybe there's just one more chance for a bit of a <laughs> share competition. Let's do it. Let me look and see who is still here ready to do the final share, the final share They're prize sharing. of the evening. They're sharing. Final share prize of the evening. They're going mad. They're going mad. Guys, if you've shared, we need to know it in the comments. I have to say, Zoom is on fire compared to Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook is slow. Facebook is slow. Facebook is slow. <laughs> Zoom is fast. Zoom is fast. And if you're driving, Diane says she's driving tomorrow, listen as you're driving. So yeah. listen as you're driving. Okay, mm -hmm. we've got congrats to Joe. We've got Rosie. We've got Monique. We've got Kat. We've got Catherine. We've got Josie. We've got Leanne. We've got Sue. We've got Sarah. We've got Karen. We've got Shana. We've got Sharon. We've got Tina. Literally, you guys are insane. We've got Laurie. We've got Lynn. We've got Angela. Oh my God, you guys are fast. So, so many congratulations for all of you guys jumping in. Whatever level you're jumping in at, whether I get to work with you at the top level, mm -hmm. I'm so excited that I do. And I'm really, really, really excited as to where we can take this. And equally, whether you've jumped in at the, the half price, £47 level right now, £47 is an absolute bargain for you to get this course for life. So um, your sharing, guys, was share the live or YouTube or Facebook video with a setting set to public and use the total recall live hashtag total recall live hashtag if you want the notes so remember the notes how does everyone get the notes sam if they're watching this live they can put in facebook they put the comment master and if you're on youtube or zoom or anywhere else and it's absolute dogs.me forward slash recall master so master in a facebook absolute dogs.me forward slash recall master and that's yours Okay, so uh, I love that Elaine says she's sharing with trusted people, which I love. I you love can share that. it on WhatsApp, you can share it on text message, you can share it with your family. I love that you're sharing it in whatever way that works for you. So that is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I am going to give a couple of little prizes here too. I am going to pick, uh, keep going guys, because I'm coming. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I am going to give, ah, uh, someone I've never seen before on here, Andy Lee. 
So Andy Lee, you're going to contact, tell me at the bottom who you're going to contact. You're going to contact absolutedogs.me forward slash recall master. I'm going to give one more prize out and that is to <laughs> the wonderful Chris Huffington. Chris Huffington, you always have the most lovely things to say. I've just seen that you've posted share in here. You're also going to email absolutedogs.me uh, forward slash recall master. And then we're also going to do one more in this group and we're going to go for... Oh, it's help. Sorry. It's absolutedogs.me forward slash help, forward slash help. That's where we're going. Uh, I'm going to do one more. Keep telling me who's sharing. Oh, God, I've gone to someone else's live. This was not what I was intending. <laughs> it was a bit different to us. It was looking very different. Um, I'm going to go to Simon Withers. Oh, no, I'm not Simon. You didn't say shared. You said master. I'm not coming to you. I'm really pleased that you did say master, though. Why is he saying master? Tell everyone. So that you can get these. He free, the free showed up bonus. He wants the notes. He wants the notes. And Gail Thompson, you've been amazing. She says she's linked copy to share. She hasn't, she doesn't want to miss the fun. And um, so I'm going to go for one last one. I'm going to go for, do 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 do. I'm going to go for the wonderful. Let's do a drum roll. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Guys, I need to get sharing. And we're going to do more shares once uh, this live is over. So we're going to do more shares. So you don't need to stop more shares once the live is over. I'm going to go for. Sabrina Jones, you also get to email absolutedogs.me forward slash help. Literally amazing. Meta says, thank you. What energy you two have. I have to say, I've I didn't realise that person wasn't. I, I ran into it like it was a barrel. <laughs> and then she's looking at me like this, like, no. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. It's been so much fun. Now, guys, I have a couple of other things to say, and I forgot to say them earlier. Yeah. You guys, uh, some of our prizes are from AOK9. Some of our prizes for AOK9. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, and, and literally, we're so grateful for all of the cool prizes that you get to have. So when you email in, we're going to let you know what your prize is. But some of the prizes are from AOK9. And so for the whole of this event, and um, for this event, if you type in and you go to AOK9 and do an order, I don't know if someone can link into AOK9. If you type in total recall, you're going to get 20% off your order for 72 hours. 20% off your order for 72 hours, one time only code. One time only code, and it is total recall. Recall has one L. No, it, it has doesn't. two L's. <laughs> I learned. <laughs> Total Recall, T-O-T-A-L-R-E-C-A-L-L. -L. If someone could link into AOK9 and Total Recall, 20% off there. And we're so grateful for the prizes. So some of our prizes are from AOK9. Some of our prizes are for a dog holiday, so a dog-friendly holiday, and other prizes are from Absolute Dogs. So you're going to get a real host of prizes. We'll see you tomorrow. We cannot wait for another round of fun. Who's excited? Get your party pants on. Be ready for tomorrow. It's not the end. It's just the beginning. You wait. Tomorrow gets even more exciting. Might even bob some pizza. Anyway, guys, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. You're amazing. Thank you for joining us.